Yo. You need to know what you're doing. And a lot of people don't. They just get horny. It's like, it's like people being racist and trying to make jokes, but the jokes keep getting interrupted by them being racist. Does that make sense? Like, the right wing tries to do comedy, and the way the right wing does comedy is like, what if I was racist, but it's framed as a joke, but then they forget the joke part midway through and are just racist? Interrupting the joke midway through because you get so angry at the subject of the joke that you just start ranting about them? That kind of thing? That's true. That's why I'm never horny. That's why I'm so funny. I've never been horny once in my entire life. I'm purpose built. Man's never been bricked up once. Nope, been flaccid my entire life. We just got the fifth uh, crystal star. Oh, would you look at that? Another crystal star, eh? Yes, well, the usual. Take that down to the thousand year door, then we'll talk. Right. I was joking about the pretty thing, but I'll pretend the ban was for the TYT email. Listen, man, it's only for a day, okay? This is how you learn, all right? We're gonna hammer you, we're gonna hammer you into shape. All right? Bit by bit. Well, this isn't the right way. I think I go out here. We're going back to the Thousand Year Door, baby. No. Oh, a new enemy? Hello. New ass enemy. Oh, fuck. Wait, I need to like scan them. I needed to assess them. TTS? Oh, yeah, TTS. Beep. There we go. Ban Animal, thank you for the $75. You really did get paid today, motherfucker. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, but like, unironically, BGL is the cartoon insert character whose whole purpose to be a piece of trash at the beginning of the and learn through. All right, okay. Okay, I see we have a Benjamin Gilbert Lit. When, when Benjamin isn't even able to defend himself. You know? Like, he's he's not even able to, to protect himself from this onslaught. I fucking destroyed the thing again. God damn it. Um... You gotta be, you gotta be sensible. What is happening? Okay. It's like when people are mean to the Amish, they're not here, they can't defend themselves. That's pretty true. Vosh, can we play Minecraft instead? Ken the Allen Cook, can you uh, make a single message in chat that isn't directed at me more like every 30 seconds? Yeah, but the sentiment comes across, Poblado. Oh wait, we need to like, do some kind of reset in the game state. Okay, sorry Vosh, no you're not. Uh, we need to do some game state reset to get those guys can- Man, I was fucking gonna take their shit. Hey, we can open this up now. Get- get your ass over there, man. Pog. Well, yours I read, of course, Alec. New Minecraft update's bad anyway. Oh man, that's crazy. You get one every two years and it was bad? That sucks. What is your deal, man? Hee <laughs> hee you've come quite a ways. This is Chet Rippo's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your stats, your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. It's on now, Mr. Slynn. Uh, well, we don't need to do this. 
Minecraft players are the least grateful people. What what do Minecraft players have to be grateful for? Mojang releases one update every two years, and it's always embarrassingly small. I hope this gets to Nick91. FBGL. Man, you're hitting me, man. I have no idea what you mean by I hope this gets to Nick91. It got to me. Thank you. Bosh, you should call into Matt Binder's show right now as you both will be canvassing for Bowman. Just to have a brief discussion about it. He did mention you. Respectfully, why would I have a conversation with him about the thing that we're about to go see each other for in a few days? Like, we're it gonna see each other soon? It says my ended an hour ago, lol. Did it? Also, I don't need to defend myself. I am secure in the knowledge that I was right, if somewhat impolite. Watch it or it's gonna happen again. Also, yeah, a day ban is actually six hours, because usually my streams are only for six hours. Um, oh, here we go. Now we can get you. Just let me get to the fucking door, okay? Um. Oh, wait, we've already scanned these guys. God damn it. Okay, whatever. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, no, like, not that I'm opposed to talking to Matt Bender or nothing like that. Just, uh, you know, we're gonna be seeing each other pretty soon. At least these guys are worth XP. Okay, get my ass up there. We gotta go to the thousand year door. We got shit to do. Would you advise eating rice and bean meal for 30 days? What other cooked meal at home would you recommend? I mean, I don't think you should arbitrarily limit your diet to meet some kind of internet challenge esque format, but I, if I had to limit, if I had to limit myself to any like general food grouping for 30 days, like rice and beans would be a pretty good bet. I don't know. You you want you want to make sure you're getting your protein, your fat, and your carbs. Get hit your macros, you know. But you don't need to arbitrarily limit yourself. Okay, this is the right pipe. Vosh, UDF. I'm trying to gift to Mr. Ninety One, but your dumb site gave me an explicit message that I can't. Yeah, my site has been nefariously crafted by White Nervosa, uh, so that when money gets put into it, it goes to the streamer whose site it is. Thank you. Yay! I gotta like a like position that emote appropriately because I didn't mean for it to go off with every subscription. Uh, really though, thank you. Wait, hold on. Is this not the right fucking way again? Ain't it? I'm so stupid, dude. It's just down here. It's just down here. I keep forgetting. <sighs> It's oh shit, we got we got the squad here. What are my badges again? Yay! A rose rojo is definitely recommended. Two plum tomatoes and serrano peppers, as well as toasting your rice before elevates that shit so hard. That's true. Remember, sake's uh sake's a chef or something, so you gotta you gotta take that. Okay, we get rid of Tornado Jump. Do we have Power Bounce? No, we don't, because we're stupid. We're stupid and we're dumb. So we need to get that. I, a white woman, had Juneteenth off today. It was an awkward moment when the team of all black guys who mow my lawn pulled up today. Skeptical smiley face. I, did you apologize to them? Were you like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean for it to go down like this? Got a job at the Smithsonian since it's a Fed holiday got me double pay. Life good. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. That's the real purpose of the federal holiday. I am Cuban. I eat white rice and black beans twice a day most days. Maybe that's why I am like this. You're Cuban. That's why you're like this. That explains everything. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. And then we go this way. Really, though, Latin people do, in fact, have... 
the zestiest cuisine, in my humble opinion. All right, it's time. Chapter six, baby. An animal man. But like, BGL is like the worst donor you have. I believe in him, but he's bad by default. I work for the place that shits on his tendencies. I, look, I'm not inclined to... I'm, I'm inclined to engage with this in a fashion that maximizes the number of back and forth donos that I get. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I got a lot of sympathy for people who are annoying in chat because my entire fucking career was built off me being annoying in Destiny's chat for a full decade before I started my own, you know? Like, I, I just feel like I'm not in a sturdy position to get, like, really high horsey about that sort of thing. I love when you get that one dinner guest who brings up the different cultures. Talking point about black people at dinner fully unprompted on Juneteenth. Oh, thankfully I've been spared the experience, but with some of my extended family, yeah, I could see it happening. Bringing, like, a black girlfriend home to see, like, the extended, like, so, like some of the family members, you know? Whew. BGL is annoying, but a necessary evil. You have to think of it that way. Sometimes people add the spice, you know? Great news, my friends. Now we know the next crystal star is in Postley Heights. I'm doing the landlord. I'm doing Alan's landlord from Smiling Friends. I was just wondering if you'd want to get pit our stomachs with diet soda and play Burnout Paradise in the PS2. Wait a sec, you mean where all the rich and famous people live? Like movie stars and stuff? Yes, yes, and I believe Poshley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it. Fairly certain. Mostly certain. In the middle of chapter six, baby. L-E-T-S-G-O. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. There be no fear some monsters are dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. So, um, a little help here. To get to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all! The Excess Express! Yes! After a luxurious steam engine excursion... Just remember, I'd rather have BJL than BJG in chat. I don't know what that means now! I thought it was just a mistype from before. What does that mean? What does it mean? Asterisk, 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 BGL. What does it they mean? Representative the default worst of our society, but to focus on positive things. I'm looking forward to a date in Germany, smiley face. You got that, Benjamin? You're detracting from the date. I really enjoy how annoyed he is. Who? Oh, you're Benjamin. Motherfucker. The fucking. I'm in Tel Aviv, man. There's rockets firing over me. Does that mean I too can be a controversial streamer, Bosh? My plan was to run for Congress in 26, but I'll take streamer too. In 26? Bit late for that one, my friend. Congress where? Fucking Rome? Um, I believe in you. Listen, it's not like being occasionally annoying has ever stopped uh, anyone from being a politician or in fact me from being a streamer. It's not like I'm not fucking annoying. I just get away with it because it's my stream. I don't know what's happening either right now. I have no idea. And Bananabal, I hope that your date goes well. A date in Germany. Are they a southern German or a northern German? Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. I'm sure. But I thought you had to be like obscenely rich to get an excess express ticket. Hmm. That may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this too. My God. BGL is Benjamin Gilbert hyphen Lee, and BJG is Brienne of Joyless Grift. She does look joyless, doesn't she? You know, just sh goes to show that like a Harvard education can't make the soulless process of accumulating money by lying about your beliefs any more joyful. Oh no, 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 no. Not that moody mobster again. Oh well. I guess we don't have much choice, huh? Come on, Mario, let's go. 
Excellent. Then we're set. We might not have much time till the demon resurrects. You must hurry. Okay, I like doing his voice now that we're doing this voice, okay? Hey, Vosh, made a mistake for subscribing when I just wanted to leave the dono. Is there a way for me to refund? Wait, what? If you... What? What is Vosh's expert oh, gamer God. tips for how to defeat your huge video game backlog? I am currently crushing mine, but maybe you can offer something better? I don't... Uh, I... Play more? B get better at identifying the... The games you want to spend time on? Vosh Canadian. How much do I have what? to dono for you to ban BGL for oh a week? Oh my god! Scratch a liberal and a BGL bleed. Let me play the game! What the fuck? I don't... It's... I feel like I can't offer that service for any amount of money because once it's on the table, it's going to be a, a negative incentive for future streams. I feel like people are going to abuse that. And, and you can get a refund always by emailing me. Just give me the email address for the PayPal chat, account. if I get elected to Congress, imagine what I can do to make Vosh chat look bad. That's true! You have to hedge your bets, guys. It's kind of like uh, Pascal's wager, you know? Make, make, like, be careful who you make fun of in middle school. Vosh, is youth in Asia a good tool to use to achieve progressive goals? What does that mean? What is happening? What does that mean? No, tell me what that means. I want a follow-up to that one. I'm down for finding out how much Vosh would take to ban BG. No, it, that's, a, that's a toxic incentive. That, that's a dangerous... You, we can't do that, man. Oh my god! TTS was a mistake. Food ideas. Chickpea curry, lentil soup, chicken tikka, veggie stir-fry, Thai curry with tofu, pulled chicken tacos, boko. Vac seal and freeze to vary diet. Okay, yeah. Alright, okay, you're cooking, literally. Yay! They want to know if your outreach into young people in Asia is going well. Hashtag youth in Asia. I'm sure young Korean men really appreciate me making fun of them for being statistically likely to be part of like an anti-feminist hate movement. You know. Don't refund me. I get that BGL is a capitalist incentive, but it's a bad road. Can I? I, I need to do this. The music in the background is extremely fitting for this. I, I agree completely. Yeah, 100%. Ever thought of doing voice acting? Just an indie project or something. It's fun and you've got a great voice. Um, I, I think I could do some voices pretty decent, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it would be more lucrative than my current career. I do like it. I mean, I DM a lot. Would euthanizing chat help the progressive cause? Now that, that I think is a fair question with an obvious answer. Can I move forward? I do need to increase the length of time between the donos. I have to give myself... It, it is like brain damage music. It's it's like a, a drill against my frontal cortex. My god. Oh, what's up? Why are you out here, man? Boo, male? Asshole, you tried to kill me. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you this as is thanks. This extra funny to me because I'm 95% sure BGL is a pretty big fan of me. What on earth? Who are you? Are you Linus Tech Tips? Reveal yourself. Ban Animal is Jenk? Are you Jenk Uger? He's Canadian. Is Jenk Uger Canadian? Oh, no clue, vasectomy, bro. That's a YouTube thing. I have no idea. Yay! Motherfucker. Shout a reminder. If you're coming to NYC this weekend, it's going to be a massive scorcher. Feels like 91 on Saturday, 95 on Sunday. Bring water, light clothes. Yep, 100%. I Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to bring the nice jeans I got. What about if you get X amount of volunteers to canvas for Jamal Bowman? Would you ban BGL? 
Is that a better incentive? Well, motherfucker, BGL donated to help arrange the, the the event. He donated to the the fundraising. He's a part of it. He's the bedrock. He's the the Man, foundation. Man, really hate me. Surprisingly, I am inoculated from caring after 24 years. I think 24 years. I think um. I think it's your confidence that does them in, Benjamin Gilbert Liff. I think it's your confidence. Why do you think the right-wingers aren't attacking the boys, uh, despite its very explicit messaging linking MAGA to Nazis I, and fascists? Aren't they? I've been seeing a lot of right-wingers on Twitter bitching about the boys, because in Season 4, I guess they get even more overt when they were already so overt that a character in Season 2 is called Stormfront. And she's like, hello, I am Stormfront, I am Nazi lady, hello. Like, I, I guess it got even more overt than that. I don't know. Oh, what impeccable time! Wait, that's the other guy. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I found a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea who you are, but that would be really funny if I was a fan. Feel free to keep communicating in this fashion. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Alright, back to Hooktail's castle. Alright, that took fucking five hours. We're 30 minutes into the stream. We've made it one billionth of the percent through the chapter. Let's go. We're doing good. Anything for you, Vosh. You guys are being awfully generous to me today. I gotta say, you're you're really oiling me up. You know, you're being oilers right now, and I'm not complaining. Hello, pro newbie. I do in fact watch uh, chat. Amazing stream so far. I love the chaos. BGL and BLJ. How much to ban BGL? Youth in Asia. So much in such a short time. Can you jump for us? Just once. Please. Just once? I'm white. I can't jump. Does anybody else feel like it's always been kind of embarrassing how bad human beings are at jumping? I'm not making a joke right now. Like, we can do a lot of really cool stuff gymnastics-wise, but when it comes to just a standing vertical jump, like, we're so bad at it. Biologically, we're just incredibly bad at it, you know? We, we, we can jump, like, one foot in the air. It's crazy. One and a half feet? LeBron, though? I mean, even the best human jumper can't jump anywhere near as well as, like, anything else. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. But you've got me in a fight, Hasir and Lejavash. I agree. Hold on. Snails jump pretty bad. You don't know that. We literally don't know what BGL is if you create inside joke without the streamer input or just waffling and it's not funny. Stop PLS. I have headache. Okay, well, B God. BGL is Benjamin Gilbert Lift. So that one I did know. And now I get Brianna Joy Gray. Just, you know, it's a lot to keep up with live, plus the voices, plus the, oh, a lot of donos coming. I can't complain. I'll chill. Good luck in NY. Something, something, ban BGL. Also, do you have a tally on how much to overshadow BGL? What's your... No one's asking. Scratch BG and Hitler bleed. B BGL, you you have some fans, man. I, I appreciate it. it the, you're... Hey, Vosh RFK Jr. here sending an important message. Oh, dear. The worms are back. The worms, the worms, the worms, the worms, the worms. You're kind of channeling all of chat right now, to be honest with you, because I feel like we've all got the worms right now. Youth in Asia is fantastic, Vosh. 
What has youth in Asia ever done to you? Youth in Asia can help achieve progressive goals. Really oh, well. youth in it's Asia. Like, I'm so stupid, dude. What can youth in Asia do to achieve our... I didn't... I'm so dumb. I'm genuinely... I am choosing to believe that instead of just calling like an adult, Anna Kasparian made the Bananable account to get back at me. That's a possibility. I feel like such a fucking idiot right now, like, unironically. I, I, you guys should know I can't pick up on puns while streaming. There's so much to manage. You don't get any time to, like, like, think about anything anybody says. You just, it just gets fucking thrown at you, like, light speed, and you have to react to it. And yeah, fucking, oh my god. You're making me feel like a real goober sometimes. Have you tried trying harder? I, I lock in every day, man. It's never enough. Reversible staircase. White people can't jump. Say that to Elon. Ha, <laughs> true. God, he looked incredible. Fuck. This conversation makes those debates Fosh has had with people while playing video games even funner. Okay, I know this sounds stupid, but I mean it. Debating takes a lot less of my attention than keeping up with chat while playing a video game. Often with debate, you're de you're like batting around some 20 IQ subliterate fuck. Like the answers and the questions are obvious. With chat, it's multiple people, sometimes dozens of people actively chatting at once, tossing shit at me. Plus it's reading and then there's like the jokes. If someone makes a joke of me during a debate, I can just not say anything. Apologies for the off-topic ask. As chairwoman of an LGBTQ plus housing NPO, we right. urgently need your platform to reach potential hosts, mentors. Can we chat? What? Please see. Was that a joke? I, I don't think it was. I well, Hello, hold on. Bosh. I'm heading to Yonkers Sunday for the canvassing effort. We woo. Let's get out there and get Bowman reelected. Uh, yes, I agree. Thank you. That sounded legitimate. Yeah, this is like an irony poisoning thing. I think it's legitimate, though. It, my serious answer will have to wait a moment, though. I misunderstood the youth in Asia thing, too. Oh, I too could have just... Already put together a sweatshop to produce dark Brandon mugs. But, uh, not gonna lie. This is kinda epic. It's very Reddit. Over here? My strategy of be funny in the streamer chat, I like uh -huh. to build coalition to run for office, seems to be going off without a hitch. I mean, you're, yeah, you're building name recognition, which is the most important part. Uh, my, my answer to the... I don't know why I talk. If I wanted to watch a streamer who doesn't read, I'd watch Asmongold. I try! I think I do well. And another one's coming, too, because Dusty Poncho gave a fucking... Tier 4 sub! Tier 4 because I'm not a lib face chat. Also, I'm better than the anarchists free my man BGL best lib. Okay, Dusty Poncho is getting banned again. Not really. Not really. But maybe. Not really, but maybe? Unless? Perhaps? Maybe? I realize the irony in my donut. Reddit! But I strongly think BGL is a long term severe negative on your channel. Whoop. Hi, I'm an Uneronic fan. I. But to what? But how? I... Been a fan of you on YouTube uh... for years, but yesterday was my first day joining your live. Ty for doing what you do. You inspire so many people. P.S. This game is cute. WTF. It's a very good game. Thank you, Snails. I need. I'm really happy to have you here. What is going on? Honestly, I'm so invested in the canvassing not for the victory for Bowman, but for the absolute humiliation of IPAC in spending so much only to lose. Like, genuinely, yeah. To that extent, Spite is definitely a part of it. I... Is BGL like a BBL? Uh... Yeah, in the sense that both of them can make your ass hurt. Uh... Okay. Um... Fuck. Uh... To the, to the one sincere, well-intended donation in that pile, my answer is, uh, I, I think I saw an email from you that I haven't responded to yet, but my- But, like, how much to bury BGL? It's a mystery number that I can never reveal, or people will go for it. Like, you never reveal how much 
you need to be bribed for. You just have to keep it ambiguous, because otherwise people know your exact price and can argue you down. I am starting a petition on change.org to get Dusty Puncho re-banned in Shala. If there a will, there a way. There's a lot of antagonism in this community. It's getting me kind of nostalgic. It reminds me of DGG back in the good old days, you know? People always at each other's throats. You guys are really bringing me back. Maybe this is just an inevitable consequence of a stream community existing on a separate site for this length of time where people start getting notorious and going after each other. My, my answer is that I haven't responded to your email, but my, my probable answer is that I don't know if I'll be able to assist in large part because I get a lot of requests to draw attention to specific causes or whatever else. And usually it doesn't amount to much of anything because people don't actually get engaged unless oh, I indicate. So I should spread my Donos out more? Well, I didn't say that, Bananable. I don't... I don't remember saying that. <coughs> uh, oh. Chat, would you say this to BGL at a bus stop? I need a, yeah, I need a tier 5, 6, and 7 sub for situations like this. Clearly the yellow name doesn't go far enough. We need people with, like, a... A name that's always glittering or something. I, I don't know. You people are fucking insane, man. You people are crazy. Personally, I find Benjamin to be very attractive, funny, and has a very pretty circumcision. Like I said, it's the confidence they- it's the confidence they go after, you know? They can't stand the confidence. They can't- they can't stand to see a king letting it fly. God damn it. Hey Vosh, so I wanted to know when you will transition to judging women's fashion. Also found a Buck Mason store in Houston that I can window shop at. Oh, nice. Uh, have a good time in their changing room. Seriously, like, try to try some of their stuff on, get a feel for it. Uh, and also, I just don't really know much. I just don't really know much about women's fashion. My answer to the person who was sincere and had a real question is that oftentimes I get requests like that, but the problem is that when I promote a cause or go fund me without any kind of like underpinning support, it doesn't actually lead to any donations because in reality, the only way to really secure donations from the audience of a live streamer is for them to get like invested and involved in it. And that means that I need to be, and I can't just do that in a whim. I have to like be very specific about the causes that I support. This sucks for me in addition, because people will ask me for like GoFundMe's about a bunch of causes like they need rent or they need like a pet like pet care or they need medical care or whatever and it's like dog even if I accepted these first of all like 90% of my time streaming would be dedicated to going through charity cases and B they would never get any money because people would just be burnt out on them if I you was know? president I would have a dog as my VP and then resign and let a good boy run the country vote for me and you will get free chew toys I think that's a good case Benjamin, you're being, uh, sort of outperformed. On the, the electoral cause. Sorry, it took me so long to get that out. Benjamin, while smart to invest in Tesla when they did, is a simp to the worst corporations. Have they divested from those core yet? I... I'm not gonna lie, man. If if you're in on the market, you want to make some dosh on the back of a bad corpo. What circumcision? Sorry, that like reset. I got blue screen for a second there. I'm sorry. I got sorry that <clears throat> that just full on. Can I still be a lesbian and still love war? Pointless skirmishes. Ha! You know, warlord. War God, Blood for, Bloodbath, Conflict, Endless, Violence, Senseless. Yeah, lesbians love that shit. So Vosh, how do you think the presidential debate is going to go down? I think there's a 50-50 chance Trump walks mid-debate because of the muted mics. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how he handles that too. I'm, I'm very excited to cover the debate. BGL has RFK worms. My god. He doesn't have money. The worms are just forcing him to into an incredible amount of credit card debt. The worms are in control now. I'd like to see the credit card company repossessed from my uh, fucking bank account, okay? They're not they're not they're not kidding me. Um possibly. I I'm never going to I've not invested anywhere. I make 100% of my income from actual work. 
Ben. Banana Bull, you know I'm not in a position to take sides on this. If we're coming after people who have made money through not actual work, then I would recommend you not look at your recent credit card statements, okay? All I'm saying is maybe have a little bit of sympathy for the guys who just sometimes stumble into money for seemingly no reason. Pure, purely through happenstance, okay? I'm, ju I'm, ju I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's just... Oh, my God. I mean, whatever your preferred method is. Can I do the voice or is, is someone going to donate? I mean, I, I was... The reason we're streaming because I wanted to free up the stream schedule so we could do Shadow of the Air Tree when it comes out when I get back from New York City. But, I mean... Oh, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. What's this? An up arrow? Reddit? Hey, an up arrow? Up? Of course! This is the Ultra Stone. So that is what the star side meant. Email here. What's this? An up arrow? Okay, snails are neat. This is what I. This is what I mean. You, I'm talking about a different person right now. Snails are neat. This is, this is what I mean about me getting a lot of emails where people ask me to cover certain topics. I was talking to a different person who asked me to cover a different topic. Apple. Also, I day trade, so I am not invested in anything. Oh, there you go. See, he day trades. <laughs> you fucking lunatic. Day traders are the most psychotic. Okay. Anyway, that's that's what I mean. Like, it's it's such a frequent enough thing that it's like, it, I, I, like I always have pending requests. We should and... make people understand the power of youth in Asia. The opposition disappears overnight after hearing cool takes with lots of passion. That's true. That's true, man. I agree. Being Ow. born into wealth isn't your fault. Maybe do something that contributes to society? At BGL, for no reason. I don't think we're making it out of Rogueport tonight, guys. I, I don't know. I feel like we might be here for a while. We know your audience includes compassionate folks who could host queer adults seeking refuge. Even 10 volunteers would be a huge help. No dollar, dollar, dollar. No, that's Just safe homes. That's the person that I was responding to. I know, but like I'm responsible as the streamer for anything. How do Artemy, Pigeon and Stanislav Rubin manage to evade bans? They're constantly interrupting your stream of thought, stun locking you through attention needs. Maybe that's how I can tolerate TTS streams. It's because I have cats, so I'm used to I'm used to the feeling of lunatics zipping around, interrupting me all the time. That that's what I mean, though. When it comes to promoting a cause or volunteering as a streamer, I feel responsible for the experiences of people who do the things that I recommend they do. This is why I don't do sponsorships or anything like that. Because I feel like if I say, you should try donating to this GoFundMe, I'm signing off on its legitimacy. And if I say, uh, like, volunteer for this cause, I'm signing off on the cause. And that's like a level of culpability that I personally am not comfortable with because I see a lot of stuff crash and burn, you know? I don't know, and I, I, I don't have the ability to investigate the authenticity or the uh, uh the the sincerity or the competence of any of any number of uh um different organizations or events or anything it's not like an opposition to the principle it's just that like it's it's yeah like je like you you can understand that right does everyone get that you know what i'm going on about It's it's never because I feel bad because like I agree with the the causes people come at me with. It's just that like I can't. Okay, dude, I'm a hundred percent sure you've told people to krill them shelves, but okay, now you're opposed to telling people to do things. I I can take responsibility for my own words, but that's the difference. It's me. That's that's it. I I I'm me. You know, I can hold up to what I do or say. Also, what what is out of nowhere? You people are crazy. Vosh, who is the best shirt? 
Okay, he's distracted. Hey, women in chat, looking cute tonight. He, colon, three, teehee. Oh shit, he noticed I have to run now, bye. I noticed you sooner than that. I've been onto your shit from the very beginning of this dono. No kidding, Salty SK. Anyway, you don't have to dono, don't uwu my owo. Like, you can talk in chat. You don't need to dono to get my attention. I do look at chat, just the donos have been very active. You know, I try to pick up on the important donos. With this, I can power your partners even more. Okay, we're getting level 3 partners now. The donos are crazy tonight. No kidding. We are cooking now. Care to power up a partner right this minute? Okay, Goombella, we're definitely going up by one because we, we have her out really often. Shazibi! Shazubi! Okay, we've seen the animation before. Yay. Oh yeah, don't uwu my owo. You're 100% alright to post in the subreddit or talk in the Discord God, or even talk in me. chat. It's just- The worms are back. They're under my skin. I need to dig them out with a screwdriver. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to kill. That's cool. That's cool, man. Bananable, I have donated over 100k to Justice Dems. Does that count? Really? Jesus, man. I bet you none of the Justice Dems have ever soul level one all the Dark Souls games. With the games. number of dono messages tonight, we've talked to way more than four NPCs, Vosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. I know Yoshi is OP with Stampede, but I just don't like the little fucker walking around with the diaper. Do you think God stays in heaven because he, too, lives in fear of what he's created here on Earth? I do in my chat. Emma Gold, dude, I went over all the donos uh, at the end of last stream from today, like today's stream earlier. Vosh, we uh -huh. don't have any idea what you're talking about. S. Anyway, do you like sour candy? I suggest Mike and Ike. Sours. They're bussin'. I love sour candies. I love Pez. They're really calorie efficient for the amount of like taste you get too. Youth in Asia advocates drink lots of pet store soda. <sighs> Only the true OGs bring a six pack home to drink all night with their cats. How are we doing today, chat? I feel like we're... I feel like we're doing... I feel like we're up to something. Tomorrow is the summer solstice, when the spirit world and our world are at their closest. Wait, tomorrow's not the summer solstice. What is your solstice clothing fit? Still autumn colors? I really don't think you can beat, like, shorts, pleated shorts, tank top, and uh, a, a Hawaiian or camp collar shirt. Tomorrow is not the summer solstice, right? It's June 21st? I thought the summer solstice was in July. Ugh, okay. The days are gonna get shorter. This stream is so chaotic, I love it. I bet! Fucking... A, a b goth barbarian sacking Rome. I love how fucking crazy the streets are at night. You know? Parthenia. What, what were the people? Okay, what's up next? We need to go talk to Don Pinata or whatever the fuck. Oh, what are you selling, man? Shooting star, jam and jelly, slow go. Oh, to make it easier to hit the... Did you know that you can dodge waterfowl dance up close by sprint jumping away at the right time? Now you do. I do know that because I learned how to do it. I just never beat her. You mean Parthia, Vosh? They never touched Rome? I don't know. I'm not a Roman history guy. That's not the kind of guy that I am. No, 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 I get that. That's one of the things that concerns me as well, don't uwu my oh well. Like, I often get nervous because just because I have the rock-hard fortitude of an individual who can handle a lot of hate doesn't mean, like, a orb with professionals can necessarily do that. At BGL, 100k of your family's money to JD is unironically great. I legally am not allowed to do that. 
Aside from that, have you ever done anything productive? Ever. Man, I, I should I get involved? Should I like for should I get like really involved? I I mean, again, as a beneficiary, it is in my material interest to not get involved, to not touch, but I, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, dial it down, KDO. Oh, shit, he's sick. Don Pinata. Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since Dada skedaddled. Can we talk about how if Vosh lost the beard and glasses, he would look exactly like a youthful Ronald Reagan? Said the psych ward patient. Said the man in a... in a... in a straight jacket, hitting his head against the cushioned wall over and over. This article explains everything about penile cancer and circumcision. Whoa. And then a link, which bl blessedly the TTS lady did not read out loud. Thank you, I'll keep all of that in mind. My dick doesn't have cancer. I guess I am circumcised, so... You guys need to just shut up and asterisk 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 asterisk. They said fuck. Oh, and keep donating. But mostly asterisk 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 asterisk. Also said fuck. Right when I- right when we get to dialogue. IDK about chat, but I'm doing good. Ate a steak, mashed taters and corn on the cob. My kids, GF got me a 3D printer for dad day and Aww. played in the rain. View? Oh, well, I'm not a dad, so I mostly just chilled at home, but that was really nice. And on the fifth day, Luigi rose and said, Let there be solstice, and that's the story of Christmas. That's pretty true, man. I'm gonna... Uh, no, never mind. I Nope, never mind. Chat hates me because there is nothing mean they can say that I won't find endearing. Like I said, the confidence gets to them. They're weak and you're strong, okay? You're, you're a different kind of man. That's what you're showing them. I'm the boss. Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? Wait, actually, the Ronald Reagan thing is kind of true. This echoed the screams in, from the psych ward. You, you know... Uttered the madman high on psilocybin. And scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around? For the XS Express? Wow, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, he us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss see his daughter again. You mean Francesca and Frankie? Didn't we see them on Keyhole Key, Mario? Yes. Who's on what now? What do you just say? Repeat that. You know what a young Miss Pianta is? Eh? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti, so help me. Oh, because they're paper. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, Bananable, you get me? I am 24. What do you want from me to cure clep pallets in Africa? I do what I can. <laughs> yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train ticket situation. We got a deal or what? Deal? To any D2 lore heads in chat, does RFK Jr.'s worm, and the apparent strong influence it has over his will, make him powerful enough to be part of the Hive Pantheon? See? Now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. I didn't see it. I, uh, I don't look at showcases or ads or trailers or anything like that. I like to be completely blindsided by a game when it comes out. I used to enjoy keeping up with trailers or whatever else, but the more I did, the more I realized that it just got me thinking about it and I got disappointed. I wouldn't call myself a goth, but I do be sacking this shit. Helps that my sack is huge. True. Bra. Based. She. Her, by the way. Uh, so anyway. The asterisk 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 ping is ping. 
BGL always starts stream with the objectively wrong opinion, regardless of where they end up. To the point where I suspect they are an artificial construction. I'm not gonna lie, because this was the second stream for the day, I thought this would be a very uneventful one. These guys are what it means to be true gooners. They're on the, you got it boss, type beat. Yeah, they are. The real ones, the originals. Que pasa? Going to Keyhole Key? Muy bien, to see we go. Vosh, you're gonna love TTS new Venom movie. What? They're doing a new Venom movie? I haven't seen any of the existing Venom movies. Youth in Asia gets you the best pet store soda in the world. I don't know what this Youth means. Youth in Asia creates the machines that make the boys and girls scream. Yeah, don't uwu my owo is asking if you're interested in volunteering. Marx would have put it, BGL is engaging in Z major zoinker praxis. This is a difficult environment to be serious in, I must say. Also, that's true. Don't uwu my owo. At BGL, we live under capitalism. You don't have to do anything. You were born oh, into just wealth and didn't have to earn anything. That's fine. Just own it. Me staying out of the argument where people are accusing other people of earning undeserved money. Agua. Agreed. Okay. They've happened before, but never this passionate, KY Progressive. Vosh, if you were to clean shave and lose the glasses, you do look like you would resemble a young Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I mean, I'd accept that about as much as the Reagan claim. Oi, Captain Stosh! What, the Piantas? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something, I think. Alright, okay. I thought I was gonna have to go that way. Oh, that was pretty fast. What's up? Oh, hi there, Mario. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, the poor daddy. Oh, no. When in a time like this? You see, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. <laughs> Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check in on the boss? We are Vashite girls. Of course we know what youth in Asia is. We are Vashite girls. Of course we post S Muggy in chat whenever something Vajli asterisk 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 comes up. Or any block too. Yeah, you guys are real optics nightmare for the broader trans femme community. At least I learn, like chat is my witness, I do change my mind when presented with correct information. It's every every stream day for Benjamin Gilbert Liff is like being Stan from American Dad, where they he starts with a position that's untenable, and at the end he let goes, I guess what we learned today is... The world is... abounds with friends for you out there if you dare, but very few are quite so true as ones filled with hair. Agreed. That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little then bacon Waluigi, burger. In anger, Waluigi this, is said, this is crazy, Venom, dude. And so White Pippo was born. Luigi how, how am I expected to work Bosch. in this environment? You're the chosen one to eat top white pippo. I think, oh, wouldn't it be fun if we did the voices? Little did I fucking know. Not making that mistake with a goddamn Elden Ring playthrough or whatever. I guess they're all voiced. You're gonna have. Hi there, RFK Jr.'s brainworm here. Why is a young Ronald Reagan with glasses and a beard on my screen? Jesus Christ. Okay, so she just said, you're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. And I think that her little sprite here, with the little pose, I think this is just fucking adorable, personally. Look at her. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. 
Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short star. I could easily say I love you a hundred times to someone I loved. Oh, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 times more, Frankie. BGL, you only start with the wrong opinion. I'm glad you learn. That's legit really good. Oh but God. it would be nice if that learning lasted a bit longer. But Annabelle, I don't suppose that the circumcision thing was a really deep cut with you, and that's the reason why this antagonism has ramped up substantially in the past 24 hours? Because the circumcision thing really gets some people, and I, I just don't know if there's, like, if this has been building or if this was a specific cut, you know? Oh, deep cut. I don't... Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh... Can't even get my own puns. It's too bad. That would have been good if it was intentional. Oh, fine. You dizzy dame. I love you. 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 Love this game. I love this game. This is what real wife guys should be like. Was Ronald Reagan circumcised? Probably. Look, they're even changing the tone of his little voice blurb. Love you. <sighs> oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> He's gone, man. Now, my little cream puff. Let's find that ring right away. What do you say? I wonder if these two are going to be okay. Look, Mario, I think maybe we should help them. Why don't you understand youth in Asia? Do you need us to explain? I don't. I, I guess at this point, the main thing that I'm confused about is what part of this you still think is funny. <laughs> That's the main curiosity, right? Like, at this point, it's 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 more like what is the value in continuing the joke as it is. Lol. At Bosch, while BGL is dumb in terms of circumcision, this is all legitimate feelings. Well, it could be legitimate if it was entirely motivated by the circumcision he was thing. was husband maxing so hard. Huh? Oh, okay. Didn't really get how that one worked. You can give Mario another turn, which is crazy. Burns up a lot of FP, though. BGL is like Jen, or whatever the asterisk 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 her name was from Family Guy. No, it was Meg. Why we mad at BGL again? Actually, I don't care. I hate Meg. I mean BGL. Wow. Pingas. You guys are fucking crazy, man. Like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even fucking understand what the nature of the beast is with this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here. We're gonna, we're gonna get the hammer and the jump. We're gonna max, we're gonna max and relax. He hates me because I had a botched circumcision and still support it. I'm learning so much about you guys today. I'm learning so much. My circumcision went great. Just letting you all know that in case you were curious. Cool. Yeah, I agree. We weren't, but thanks. <laughs> uh, uh. Celebrating my palpable relief from getting transferred to a department at work, I actually like with a little donation. God, I'm so happy. Nice. Uh, well done. Congratulations. Why are we fighting these guys? Circumcision ablates these four essential sex organs. Inner foreskin, ridged band, outer foreskin, and frenulum. These organs contain 20,000 nerve endings. How do- ge okay. Actual, genuine question. How do we get on this? What was the initial prompt for us getting here? Where we are right now? 
what brought us here? Trans people just resent circumcision because it's the only bottom surgery society accepts. Trans girl who becomes an intactivist because getting circumcised reduced the size of her post-bottom surgery labria by one quarter of a millimeter. Kendrick just had a concert where he had the crowd yell certified PDF file at Drake like five times. It was amazing. That's so fucking base. Also thoughts on Cheetan Japan's crazy mascot? Um, it's annoying, but at least it's annoying in a way that feels kind of human and corny and not in a way that feels soulless and inhuman. Does that make any sense? No, I've never played Final Fantasy VII in any form, actually. It's just never really appealed to me. Like, I know all about it just because it's fucking part of game history. I don't like Final Fantasy. I played FF14 for a while, but... I've been annoyed oh. at BGL since they landed on the scene around a year ago. They are actually just a scratch of Benjamin in a fascist plea. It's bad. Does anyone... Did... I, I feel I feel like we're getting the fucking like cold cut opening interviews to a Quentin Tarantino flick where the plot is like a bunch of people found themselves in like a, a, a chance friendship because they're all hunting the same bastard who ruined their lives. You know what I mean? Like like they're all they're all in a bar and they're all like, yeah, I met the guy. He was my landlord. Fucked me over. Yeah, like, like, you know, yeah, he used to be my former manager, and they like they they all learn each other like from that or who they are. I, I I don't know. Pretty sure this counts as bullying at this point. Nah, I know the kind of guy BGL is, and this is all ego fuel for him, and I respect it. It would be for me too. I get a lot of hate, and you know what I do with that? I cram my phone up my asshole and set the phone on vibrate. <laughs> you should start charging more for these therapy sessions. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, God damn it. What are we... Is the ring down here? No, not down here. Okay, somewhere over here. Random equals funny. Now, that that's not random. That's a pointed and incisively delivered reference to a meme that's perhaps two years out of date. Some might call it a vintage at this point, but I don't think that makes it random. Yeah, it's a classic. Okay, so we missed the ring the whole way over. Okay. You missed it? Yeah, I know. I've been annoyed at Bannonball since they landed on the scene around a year ago. They are actually just a scratch a banana and a loud asterisk 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 bleeds. Yeah, I've been it's angry bad. it's suddenly sentient for what feels like my entire life. Given my weird life sitch, now is the time to air my grievances. BGL represents the barrier to a non-death cult society. I d I You know what I'm happy about? The passion on display. That's what I'm happy about. I'm I'm glad that everyone's having a good time. The circumcision thing started because a guy with vasectomy in the name donated about me, and I made a joke. Huh. Crazy how it all gets out of control from there, huh? You know? I'm not having a good time. Well, why not? Does Super Hammer do additional damage? God damn it. Now we don't find out. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. We're gonna try it again. I'm not even paying attention to the game, man. You guys have rattled me. You guys have rattled my ass. Can't wait till the day technology allows people to super chat straight from their brains to the stream. Can't wait to hear what people think. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming about some, like, massive political event, and I'm gonna be like, Hey, don't think about donating me five dollars! And then uh, they're all gonna, like, roll in. Oh. Thanks, bitch. 
glad he likes. Okay, does the super hammer secondary damage increase? No. Well, Magalus circumcised the globe and like the white of the I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Are you telling me this entire Dono War was CIR asterisk 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 stanchial? Well, I don't... Oh, circumstantial. I get it. But it, it, it come got asterisk. I got a... Lighten up on the TTS. I gotta get through this, man. I gotta get through this. We're never getting out of here. I gotta get out of here. I actually need to go to sleep, but my parting words must be beware of the leaf. I would agree with that. I think you got the censorship level such as time. So long as random chatters are throwing our hats in, I'm with Banabel. BGL gives me the ick in the worst way. Uh, yes. Well, smart of you giving that donation to uh, Thana, you know, really, really hedging your bets there. Uh. Any fast food places you miss from California? Nah, in and outs trash. Hey, Vosh, I heard someone butcher the pronunciation of Potji, so I'm curious how you pronounce it. I, po, po, I, I don't, I've never seen that word before. I have no idea. Potji would be my guess looking at it. My donation had nothing to do with you, Ben. You deserve your whole asterisk, 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 asterisk. I love you, man. I want you to have all your body parts. Ah, uh, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Waiting for us to finally reach Chapter 6 and listen to BGL and Bananable explain why the other person deserves to be thrown off of a moving train. Hopefully they take each other. Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy! <laughs> we sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go! Also, anyway, also, we'll be I've down at the dock. since the Kyle Kulinski. TYT, <laughs> Jimmy Dore drama videos. <laughs> this, is, this is me fucking running out of game content. <gasps> I'm like SpongeBob in Sandy's dome. I, I'm, I need game content. <gasps> Honestly, it sucks that people are mad at BGL when they should be paying attention to ME. I am the smart. Look at me instead. Also look suddenly sentient.card.co. I'm not looking at that, man. I'm trying to play the fucking game. Chad, is he fundraising right now, or is he milking his simps? WHAT AM I DOING?! You'll blame anything on me! I'm a victim! Somehow! In spite of the financials involved. Can we get to chapter six, please? God, there's gonna be so much talk in this chapter, too. Thana, no, they're gonna see it. Fucking Vosh V. Thana, you're the one who fucking primarily mods Vosh V. You're, you're, you're pissing on the floor you'll have to mop up. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Yay. Watching that Kendrick concert got me yelling PDF at the screen like I'm a leftist watching a Boosh stream. Glad you're enjoying it. If us, uh, need to go back to Rogueport. Muy bien. We are off. At BGL. Add me on Love Discord if you ever want to talk. I know you want to talk to people who actually work for cash. 
This is very targeted, but also This earnest. is it. This is it, man. This is this is like toxic yaoi or whatever. This is what they talk about. Banana bowl sleeps. What a weak little baby man thing. Oh, that well, okay. Well, that was sent before the most recent offer, so maybe you know, maybe maybe it's they'll they'll touch tips. I don't know. Yeah, Athena, it's genuinely crazy, and it's not like an enviable position, and I love you, and your work is valuable, and you're respected, and you're a bedrock foundational pillar of the community. Everyone say thank you, Thana. I'm not joking. Do it or I'll ban you. We have to go see Daddy immediately. He's had in and out, Shake Shack, Five Guys, and Whataburger. In and out is incredibly overrated. True. Five Guys uh, is. Five Guys is amazing if you don't have a bitch in your ear telling you you just spent $17 on a fast food meal. How about milking a cat like in the 1984 version of Dune? Also, what? thoughts on Dune Part 2? It was pretty long. <laughs> but I don't know what else they could have done, you know? I, yeah, like, it, it, it dragged a bit, but what else could they have done? I like the idea that I'm in my office laughing hysterically while Banana Bull is going to bed legit fuming. You have an office? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused by these Donos. You're able to use this text box for things other than sending Bosch imager links with pics of Warhammer and turnip minis? I mean, honestly, right now, return with a V, am I right, huh? This is crazy. Only $17, did you only buy a small fry? Listen, they compensate for the overpriced food at Five Guys by giving you infinite free peanuts. If you go to, did you, did you guys know that? They literally have giant cardboard boxes full of peanuts with the shells on. You can go in there with, there's like little paper containers and you just get free peanuts. You just take them. My favorite circumcision tool is Mario's hammer. I could see it. I could see how that would work. Yeah. Oh yeah, they load the fries too. They do not do the McDonald's fry thing. They load those motherfucking fries. What if you're allergic with peanuts? If you're allergic to peanuts, honestly, I wouldn't go in the Five Guys. The air has got to be like four percent peanut in there. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss. Francesca. Daddy. Boss. I am actually here for Thena. I am her fault. Thena. What does that mean? Oh, my little Francesca. You came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. Absolutely not, Sobe. I'm an intactivist. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. <laughs> Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret Wait, saying this, is but- circumcision with Mario's hammer a literal whack-off? Also, Five Guys uses peanut oil for fries. Amazing. Is that why they taste the way they do? That's pretty good. Also, fuck you. I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, aka the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Oh, boss, no! No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. I'm in an office while, hey, this is a place where we don't like the people who do nothing for their livelihood. I've found myself in a good place from effort. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it back. I'm, I'm repelling the, the wall pressed against me of this- By the way, chat. I am also this annoying in TYT chat and have been for eight years. Amazing you haven't caught one yet, especially with how reactive they've been lately. Why not his daughter? Because they're sexist. What? But boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me? Boss? 
No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. Boss! You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is just gonna be beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd ask you about a ticket for the XS Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. Aww. I always liked this moment when playing this game as a kid, because I always thought at this point that the Don would be like, like, he'd like resist it. He'd be like really hesitant to give the ticket, but it's like, yeah, he's like a mob boss. It's a train ticket. Even if it's a, even if it's a fancy train, it's still a train ticket, you know? Vosh, didn't you say you produce bangers daily when talking about annoying chatters about past Vosh, but you don't stream daily? Curious. So no daily bangers. I produce bangers off stream all the time. I'm a laugh riot to be around with my friends, you know? I've got, listen, I've got two genders, all right? One of them is me sitting quietly on my phone when everyone is having fun at the dinner table, and the other gender is me being a raucous laugh riot. That's how it is. It's the two genders. It's like Bananable genuinely thinks we live in a meritocracy and I've somehow gained the system. I am starting to get worried for him. You, you, you well, gotta Ms. talk. Check? You have to talk. You have, you two have to talk. He's invited you to talk. You have to smooch. Don't actually smooch if you don't want to, okay? <laughs> well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. No, bitch, three, four, five. Daddy! Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Bring Vivian on the train, Vasa. She deserves it. I gotta, I gotta fucking scan people. I gotta tattle people. I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with all that pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? <laughs> for, for, for Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee <laughs> Underboss. Uh, uh, I mean boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. I've been getting into 3D design, printing, and I may soon be supplying custom decor for a local business. Hog? Would love more clean energy or train segments. <laughs> No immediate promises, but nice. That's, um, that's wonderful. I hope you're having a good time. Nothing feels as good as creation. Like, making new life inside your mother's womb. <laughs> um. Gross. It's a miracle of life! Gross? Incest? You Your mother's game? womb! What do you think of the World of Assassination trilogy? My favorite was Hitman Blood Money, where you could sabotage the barbecue at the pool party. Um, I played half of Blood Money, but to be honest, those games aren't really my thing. Oh, plot. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies! So, the sixth crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, Beldam. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that sappy Mosh traitor, is just Vivian. just a small little boy who just wants to play uh -huh. Mario caught in the middle of... Actually, what is this? It's true, I am. I'm a victim. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. 
Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshly Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> Mario, that hag means it. We gotta get to Poshly Heights before she does. Quick to Rogueport Station. Let's go. Let's go. Wah woo, wah woo, wah woo, wah woo, wah woo. Trouble board. Man, we got places to be. What did you? We have to get there immediately. Uh, time for me to go to the trouble board. No, idiot. Prioritize. This is the Express Express bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Watch your step, please. I just signed the offer letter for a new job with a 60% salary increase. I'm very excited and not just for the money. So here's some for you. That's fantastic. That's uh, genuinely awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done. I love getting little bits of good news from my chat. It feels like the only place I get good news. Certainly not from Reuters or AP. Love the design of this train, by the way, with that big uh, center wheel being like the height of the train itself. Three days of excess. Oh, fuck, dude. There's so much talking in this chapter. There's more than in any other chapter, if I remember correctly. Mario's Cabin. Wow, the Excess Express. This is so totally luxurious. Wah, woo, wah, woo, wah, woo, wah, woo, wah, woo, wah, Brianna Wu. You're right. Hold on one second. Why do we even trust Reuters anyway? They were unable to find the KKF. Gilbert. Leaf. There we go. Just three days to Poshley Heights are gonna get fly by. Oh my gosh, I'm so psyched. Huh? There's something on the floor. Was that there when we arrived? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. I'm gonna fucking lose it, man. I'm gonna lose it. Vosh is a little boy UWU. What a By totally the weird threat. It way too hard you to think Beldum has anything to do with it? But at least you do things to earn income. Unlike some people. I'm trying to do something during an income, that's for sure. I'm trying to earn my keep this stream. I'm trying to level the gross disproportionality between the work that I've done and the amount of money I've made for this stream. I'm putting an effort in to level those two factors to balance the equation. We're working off a pretty hard ratio right now, I have to say. Do you think Beldam has anything to do with it? Well, one way or another, the note's appearance means the culprit's on the train. Ooh, I hate threats. Let's get this sneak before they try anything. Oh yeah. Uh, let's switch to Vivian for a bit. Ooh, yeah. There's a dried mushroom inside the drawer. Nice, one health, or two health, or something. Vivian? Yeah, let's get some Vivian dialogue. The trans purple thing, true. He'll unban him when he runs out of money for his clothes. It was a six hour ban. What do you call a rat that is grateful? Gratitude. Man, I hope TTS read that word right. <laughs> hey, there you go. Nice to see it pay off. I went to see some college friends to celebrate Juneteenth today, and we did oh. so much together. I touched grass and I'm proud. Hypers. That's wonderful. I'm glad you had a good time. Hello, chunky-ass toad. 
Hey, speaking of, does anybody else think it's weird that people always draw Vivian as skinny in the fan art when Vivian is, like, explicitly kind of round? I have noticed that through all the photos you have posted, I couldn't find people doing jokes about your feet, so I ask, have you gotten any gooners talking? I'm sure they have, but they keep it to their forums, you know? Ah, uh, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride in this train, and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. I don't get the foot posters. It's just not my kink, man. Oh, I remember you. Oh, hello there, you ducky debonair dish of a man. You, you're smashing, dear. What's this? Me, a witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly upon my bewitching beauty, dear. Do you have exceptional feet or something? I mean, I wear, like, size 13. They're pretty big. You know what they say about... It's I, it's, I have a big penis. That's what I mean. That's what I mean to say. I, it was a joke about my penis. And it's true. It's not even a joke. But yeah, like, apart from that, there's not really anything interesting about my feet. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion coin art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. I tell you, being a celebrity is rough. Everywhere I go, girls mom me for my autograph. Exhausting. Eh. The trans purple thing? That's what I call my peanuts. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. Also work harder, stream boy. Make back what you owe. Whip U-S-H. Whip U-S-H. Good idea, Thana. Harder. G-R-A-H-H-H-H-H. If your dick's a little purple thing, you gotta fucking loosen the cock ring, you know? Why does the fat toad have a fork and a spoon? There's literally nothing you eat with both of those. That really depends on your level of enthusiasm, to be honest with you. He's like on that dungeon meshy shit. You know, he's in it. He's in it for the metaphor. All right, last dono for the night. Thanks for Promise? all the entertainment. Good luck and Godspeed on the rest of the stream. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. I do appreciate all the very kind donos. That's why I haven't hit A yet. What happens if you smacked Dwayne Johnson's bum? You would hit rock bottom. Probably because he would sue you for touching him out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think he'd be cool with that. You have to ask permission first. Vonch, I am going on a date, and I can't decide which outfit color. Not ironed yet, sorry, Linky. Yo, motherfucker knows what he's doing! I'll post the link in chat, even though I can't show it on screen. Nice! Man after my own heart. Personal opinion? Uh, 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 stone gray or khaki on the trousers, and, uh, or like beige, I guess, and the lighter, uh, uh, Hi, field I'm jacket. George Latimer. I've been endorsed by the far right, the KGB, EA Games, Karen, Hillary Clinton, and the heat death of the universe. Abandon all hope. A lot of money behind them. A lot of money. So which number, one to six? Personal opinion number three. Just my personal opinion, honest to God, think you've got that shit on lock no matter what. The fundamentals are there. Also, don't iron anything. You don't need to iron that shit. You look good. I guess you can. No kidding, Thana! That sounds... interesting. You know, the real, like, let's lock in Reddit rule would be making it so the only threads you could make on Vosh V are explicitly about me. That would be, like, the ultimate final, like, uh, Order 66, hit the big red switch plan to, like, automatically annihilate a ton of irrelevant content. Yeah, what's up, Tempest? Can we do that? No, no, no. That's, like, the nuclear... That's, like, the fucking neutron bomb option, you know? That's the heat death of the universe option. 
To differentiate this dono, I shall make it mean. Boo Vosh. Vosh bad. IGN gaming skills. Bad fashion EHH. No. Anyway, happy gaming. Wait now, it's positive asterisk asterisk asterisk. I think asterisk. that the donos today could use a bit of positivity, to be honest with you. Maybe one day, Thana. Greetings, welcome to the XS Express. I'm what's called the train engineer. Our journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. Days filled with opulent luxury, I might add. So let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Oh, what? A sticky, yummy thread of some kind? Are you serious? Oh, that shan't be good for business. I can't leave the controls, so could you inform the conductor at the end of the train? Ah, dude, it's like a modern Norfolk Southern train where you only have two people on staff at any one time, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, dude, this gigantic train is only two people working on it at once. You have the fucking conductor and you have the engineer. That's all you need for a train, after all. Never mind the fact that trains used to have at least three people on them. What's your opinion on Stitch Fix and other subscription clothing options? I want to try new styles but never know where to start. I don't like most clothes I buy three months after I get them. I think that's a, honest to God, I think that you need to lock in because that's a skill issue. That means you Gosh, have bad I've buying habits. I've been in a calorie deficit for a month. I'm down 10 pounds. Nice. All I want to do is drink melted butter at this <laughs> point. How did you do it? What did you eat? A lot of rice, beans, and potatoes. And uh, air fried chicken nuggets. I You need to like slow down the rate at which you buy new clothes and you need to buy stuff that you're going to like in the long run. Don't buy outfits, buy like core pieces that you can incorporate into your existing wardrobe, you know? I don't like rent a clothes services because they treat fashion as like these optional flippant little things you toss on rather than like you building a core sort of aesthetic identity, you know? At this point, considering the way that I dress, people can usually identify me by my clothing, which I think is pretty cool, right? Like most people just wear jeans and a shirt, but now that I consistently wear, like, either military clothes or higher-waisted trousers with camp collar shirts, like, there's a lot of stuff that I wear where it's like, oh, that outfit? That's him. And I like that. You're building a visual aesthetic that sort of represents you. And I, I, I think it's like, it's a style. And I like that. And you have to learn to think in that way. BGL leaving the ecosystem leaves a niece open God for me, me to ascend to the top of the food chain. I'm gonna eat you. G-R-A. Chat is posting S. Muggy. I know what you are. True. Really, though, Tempest, it's just about finding the meals that fill you up and make you feel satisfied, Seriously, you know? Seriously, though, there was a scene yeah. in the 1984 version of Dune where the Baron forces Thufur Hawit to milk the cat as a form of torture. This isn't even in the books. IDKY David Lynch added that scene. That's honestly based and very Lynch-pilled. I respect it. You guys are crazy, man. Okay, here's a good one, chat. How does a non-binary person kill someone? They slash them stupid welcome 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 this is the dining car where you eat and stuff some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food and this trip we have a super famous actor on board zip toad oh my gosh oh i'm totally swooning i so hope he comes here to eat soon i want an autograph cute Yeah, Tempest, I don't know about that one. The raw butter cravings are ones that I totally sympathize with, but I'm afraid you have to power through. But also, well done for the weight loss so far. Hello, I'm Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Wait, glad to make your something, but not acquaintance. Uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Compliance? Ah. Luke Henderson joining the fuck BGL crew. Holy shit, the, the Tarantino army assembles. There's a shiny stove here. It's been polished to a brilliant luster. Okay. Here's the shop. That wasn't a French accent. Hi, I just wanted a chance to show y'all my sweet baby, Chloe. It's hard to click links during stream and I can't show it on screen, but I love your little baby, cute dog, cute dog. Here's the link, everybody. Fifteen coin thunder rage is pretty pog. You know what? I'll get a few just so Vivian.
can use them. Of course, Kate plays bass. Uh, hello. I am on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Okay. I really need a crossbody bag. I saw some nice ones the other day at Blue Owl, but they were 200 bucks. For me, I have a very important deal to attend to. Right, once we arrive in Poshley Heights, I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account, yes. Oh, the bob family. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Oh, my, my, my. Yeah, I'm Bub. We're gonna get a birthday present for me and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Oh, you're the champion of the Glitch Pit, are you not? <laughs> yes, the Great Gonzales. Bound for Poshley Heights. Well, it certainly is a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Mm. robbing these people. Yeah, I feel a math, honestly. But you know, whatever. Help queer adults find refuge by going to Passage. LGBT, volunteer to volunteer as a housing host or support staff today. No time, dollar tell PPL about Rainbow Passage. I mean, whatever methods of advertisement work, you know? It's a worthwhile, um, it's a worthwhile uh, thing to commit yourself to, you know, really. Might make some of you guys, or help you guys make some friends, too. Just, uh, tough to rep, you know? Hope you're doing well. I apologize for the, you know, limitations. <laughs> Hello to you, and welcome to the XS Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What are you doing away from the front, from the, from the, the cabin, my man? <laughs> Just to let you know, beyond here is the baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in. <laughs> What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. Okay. It is a bit odd, isn't it, Tempest? I guess Rogueport isn't just a slum town. It's also kind of a... A clue. There are traces of something on the floor. Clue? Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that'll do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And uh, um, uh, exactly what kind of a dish is that? Am I doing Kim Kitsuragi for the cheap cheap? Detective. Shouldn't Kim Kitsuragi be the penguin, considering that he's a detective? I am known as... Pe no, wait. I can't really do Kim Kitsuragi's voice, though. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. No, he's too... Arrogant. Kim Kitsuragi is too conciliatory. He would never say these things. I could never. I could never. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And so, my esteemed friends, I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, gluttonous woman. Wow. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Uh, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. 
I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yes, yeah, sorry. See, Kim Kitsuraki would never do this. Ahem, very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and uh, I guess that's about it, right? Uh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. Does anybody else, when playing games like, I don't know, Danganronpa or whatever, is just thinking, man, if I was in this situation, I would have the social engineering skills to make things plan out, like, play out differently. Like, if I was there, I would get everyone to work together. Like, all of these stupid miscommunications and blunders and, like, people being weirdly antagonistic, I would be, like, trying to smooth everything over and get people to get along long enough to survive. Because that's all I'm thinking. All I'm thinking is like, dude, you're in a death game situation. What the fuck are you doing being, like, petty? You can't be petty. Maybe not Danganronpa. Maybe, like, 999? I think 999. I would have actually been killed just like the trans was in the game, TBH. Oh, I bet you would have liked that, you fucking degen. They were so weird with that one. What was the... What was the... How did they kill the trans girl? They were like... This is a boy who pretends to be a girl, so nobody shames him for being in, not masculine. Like, he was super feminine, but it's like, he's a guy. He's a guy. Like, he's not a girl. He just lived as a girl that had a girl's name, and everyone called him a girl, and he wanted to be a girl because he had issues with his gender. But he's not a girl. He's a guy pretending to be a girl. The Japanese have, like, 50 different concepts that mean trans woman, but not a woman. Like, that's... They, they, they're like, okay... So they're not a woman, but they're a person who lives as a woman, looks like a woman, and has, like, fucking the body of a woman. You know, it's like, okay, sure. I have just broken the case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. I love her. You're just making stuff up, you... Tweety Geezer! What? Tweety Geezer. Geezer! I can't say I deserved such a verbal thrashing, but, well then, who did do it then, hmm? Someone bludgeoned them in the head to hide their own secret. It was revealed they had male genitalia, but dressed as, lived as, and acted as a woman because they were bullied for looking feminine as a child. This is like the transgender equivalent of the Oh yeah, this was my female aunt and her female roommate who lived together for 60 years and never married. They were roommates, you know? Oh yeah, he just d lived as a woman for 10 years. <laughs> as a bit. <sighs> the puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Okay, so we're gonna do the obvious thing here. It's unironically the 4chan incel to trans girl pipeline. Have you ever seen that old 4chan meme where it's like, uh, how to go trap mode? It's always amazing seeing cultures who ban women from professions and have a large history of men portraying women not recognizing trans women. Genuinely, yes. It's really funny. Like, you're staring at the answer in the face. Yeah, it's like, do a bunch of butt exercises and eat soy and drink cum and you'll have the body of a 12 year old boy or whatever the fuck they're obsessed with and it's like bro just take hrt like stop being on 4chan stop being weirdly pedophile adjacent at the very least take hrt and live a normal life okay you people are crazy fat toad fat toad <laughs> Whoa, 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 what do you want? <laughs> Suspic- we- we all out of pots of stew. 
That's so funny, Tempest, the delusion that people live with. Sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops of strew on the floor outside. N no I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. If the, if it really is as straight, because I don't remember. If it really is as straightforward as the fat guy stole it, that's based. That's fucking based. You ever, you ever see people online get mad at the, like, depiction of fat people eating? How the fuck did you think they got fat, retard? What, like, uh, bro, you can't show a fat guy being gluttonous. What do you mean? How do you think he got that way? They can't all be, like, diabetic with hormone imbalances. Like, some of these motherfuckers just ate a lot. I'm not blaming them. I'm just like, that's how it happened. It's what... Exactly, Tempest, it's life. But what if they were black and it was insert stereotype food? You know what's genuinely fucked up? That black people made some of the dopest food in American cuisine, like regional cuisine, but it's racist to attribute it to them. Like, nobody has an issue saying, oh, French people, oh, your cuisine is like this food, or like, oh, Spanish or Italian people, like, oh, mamma mia, woohoo. But then with black people, it's like, uh-huh, black people fried chicken, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with fried chicken? And literally everyone eat Fried chicken is like the fucking sun at the center of the heliocentric universe of food. Absolutely not, Yokai Gotha, but nice try. Like, it's like, oh, bl black people, black people like fried chicken. Everybody does! Everyone on Earth! <laughs> Did, did you- did you know black people like, uh, watermelon? Oh, watermelons! You mean one of the most popular fruit! Uh, 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 did you know that they like, um, uh, uh, one of the most universally loved dishes and cuisines and they iterated it on it in a way that has, like, inspired cuisine the world round with, like, soul food and southern food and Creole and Cajun? Isn't that funny? I'm telling you, man, this shit's a psyop. They made that shit racist because white people were mad. Their food tastes like ass, you know? Fucking black people in the South, slaves cooking food, and the white people are like, hold on, why are these guys cooking, both metaphorically and literally? Why, why are these, hold on, fucking breaded chicken? This is delicious. Diabetic ketoacidosis is the kaokin of weight loss. Your body being unable to process sugar makes being skinny easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can also jigsaw cut your own fat off. I mean, sure, if you want to get all disease unhealthy about it. But yeah, I suppose. Literally, it's just white people being mad. They're like making negative stereotypes out of something that is both true and unobjectionably good. Like, uh, black people love for- Everyone does! What are you on about, dude? It's crazy! Does anyone- like, I feel like I go insane when I see racists make fun of it or whatever. Like, it, it's like, dude, you- you're making fun of- You eat fried chicken, you stupid fucking Yakubian experiment! You greasy fuck! You sun-blighted vampiric monster! You eat fried chicken! What are you doing? It's insane! Hey, black people, cook for us. How do you get so good at cooking? Li li fucking literally! Meanwhile, you look at the regional cuisine of New England, and it looks like fucking a, a kid threw up in a bowl of peas. I'm sorry, man, you ain't got the sauce. Regarding grass touching, thanks for pushing the envelope and challenging yourself and chat. We don't need a comfy streamer. I've been having a lot of fun lately. You know, it's important to be authentic. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh god, did AOC take the bait? <sighs> 
Nick Fuentes quote tweeted AOC criticizing APAC and uh, never mind. I am sure you know, but before some chatter pipes up with some BS. As an Acadian chatter, Cajun food is Black American, not French. Racists say otherwise. Hug. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Just because the French colonized the Isles and they speak French doesn't mean that like the whatever. Um. Anyway, AOC criticized APAC. Then Nick Fuentes quote tweeted her and said, "AOC is more America first than ninety nine percent of Republicans. The only thing you can do with this is not respond." And then AOC, unfortunately, responded to Nick Fuentes and said, "You come on, man, shut the fuck up." Why the hell have we been on this train for one hour? Oh, now no, we're in ten seconds now. She responded stupidly. She took the bait and she said, "You are a white supremacist. I want nothing to do with you." Blah 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 blah. Like she she sincerely responded to a bait post. Of course, there's as many comments as there are likes. And Nick Fuentes responded to her saying, "You're right. We do have irreconcilable differences. I also disavow the genocide of Palestinians and APAC, unlike many of your colleagues. You and me, Rep. Massey, Candace Owens, and Bernie Sanders all agree the Israel lobby should not control our foreign policy." So Nick Fuentes is doing the like outflanking haha thing and now it's just attention if she responds to him again i'm rescinding some of my support because he needs to like or she needs to like understand she swallowed that hook yeah what is she gonna say to that yeah we, we all are united in criticizing israel but you do it because you're a nazi like it's just yeah Whatever. I'm sorry for the person who don't know who I just yelled at. The empty stew pot, this thing looks like it was licked clean. I did reach out personally, Susie Clem. I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. So oh, you were the one so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer! Yes, yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. Unkempt? My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Now about that note in your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six so we may discuss this in private. Okay. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. Well, you're not shaped like that man, Tempest. Why is liking grape soda a black stereotype? I don't know, especially considering the fact that if you take your average 12-year-old white boy, they are composed 31% of cherry Kool-Aid. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, it's the most random shit, dude. It's the most random shit. High C fruit punch. I haven't seen it, Dusty Poncho. Grape soda is goaded, though. Well, yeah, I know. Well, I'm, I'm saying it's like it's nonsensical. Aha! I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case. I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. Give the pot? Okay, I will, I will. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sorry you have heard of me, so that's all I'll say on the subject. And as for your name, wait! I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. 
That mustache. That nose. Hmm. Ho, ho, ho! All too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. A man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bomb -oms. They are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay. All right, I need to give the pot back. Ooh, time cycle. Oh, good sir. Have you discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You are brought back by dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you. From me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, why must I brought you this language so? So shameful. Please take it, I mean. Neat. Let me know if AOC makes the stupid decision to reply further to Nick Fuentes. I'm just curious to see if she's, like, gonna hop on the bait any further. Is it sleepy time? It is not. Wow. We talked to the Bobbums then. It is very pretty. Gotta say, your great sacrifice of canvassing for Jamal Bowman when the new Elden Ring DLC drops. I will not forget this. Unironically? Yeah? Un like, genuinely? Yeah? Gonna have to avoid my phone because Twitter's just gonna be people going like, holy shit, I reached boss number four in the DLC and I fucking blasted my shorts with cum so hard that I got a hernia, you know? Like, I, I have to... Uh... I think we should get Little Bob the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of bob -bombery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. I think I had a different voice for him. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that'll further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit becoming a champion? Also, do you think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has... Oh! At the front. Now you've got it, don't you? Gold? Because AU is the elemental symbol. You ask him something that benefits the station of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Okay, so they're gonna... I can hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being an engineer someday. Brain engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. Hehe. <laughs> AU. Um... What starts with AEU and pertains to being a train engineer? Autism? Yeah, like autism is the obvious one. We'll go talk to the conductor. Or the engineer. AEU. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden.
I should probably be using Yoshi for this. I know Bob admires me because I'm a train engineer. Well, shucks. Oh, okay. That didn't really answer my... Missed one step? What would the one step be? We know it involves train engineers. We've talked to the only people involved who know anything about that. A repeat? You have to talk to someone? Well, yeah, that would that would be the step. <clears throat> Who's in here? That's Mosh, me. the type of guy to say, Oh, please. Mr. Kochinski is my father. Call me Ian. Nah, it's both of us. I own that one. This is Fat Boy. This is Fat Boy Summer. Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that strew was scrum diddly umptious. Can't wait for dinner. Didn't make myself clear, sorry. I should have said that this doesn't support Israel only because evangelicals BC Israel actually have influence over our policies. Well, that's true, yeah. Hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. I'll help! Yay! No mark call in for Father's Day. Zero out of ten streamer. My gift to my father is not exposing them to you guys. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring. Oh, AU! 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 Vosh, will you be back for the presidential debate next Thursday? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Okay, okay. Damn, and then Eric's, Alex Karos realized in a sudden fit that he was talking about an actual human who is in fact related to the streamer who controls the chat that he's typing in. Jesus Christ. What is that little bub kid won as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star, right guys? Uh, sorry though, that's a no-can-do for me. My fee for autographs is out of your budget. Absolutely, uh, Bluton hers. Hunter Hunter is incredible. Oh, autograph. A-U autograph. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, for little bub. Why, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Ah, oh, she've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. It does. MSG from 2056. All art has been AI for three decades. Vosh put on first human fashion show in 2053 and shatters the singularity, thus freeing mankind. Reminded of that, um, metaverse fashion show that, uh, Dan from Folding Ideas talked about in one of his videos that looked like absolute dog shit, and the fashion company that sent the journalist to cover it was like, what is this shit, what am I looking at? What kind of gift is an autograph? A lot of people like that shit. I did see Huey Pinu. Nope. I'm sorry about that, Huey Pinu. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hell yeah, miss bingo mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Will the Thousand Year Door gameplay be uploaded somewhere just in the VODs? Uh, it's, I, has part one not been uploaded yet to Vosh Vibes Tempest? Fun fact. 
Decentraland came out literally one year ago. Folding ideas, releasing content on a schedule now. That's crazy. His content is so fucking good, man. I just want him to make more. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, cool. But this doesn't advance the, like, broader story. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Gotcha, Tempest. Now it's EP time. Love the music. I'm cooking rice and chicken broth instead of water. Let's hope this is as good as I've heard. Oh, you're in for a fucking treat, dude. Cooking rice in broth rather than water is fucking phenomenal. Oh, does that not... is that not the mechanism by which you advance time? Oh, thank you, still alive. Not sure if you heard, but a new Zelda game where you actually play as Zelda was announced. She's gonna play completely different from Link, but a bunch of whiny dudes just want her to use a sword like Link. Yeah, I, I, I saw. Change bad, I guess. I mean, the, the, there's a certain type of person who's going to complain about literally anything good because it's woke, right? Now we already did this. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. Rice in stock is literally why risotto is amazing. Also, the chicken tomato bouillon they sell in Mexican groceries and Walmart is pretty amazing. Just dropping some, like, butter or lime juice... Some salt. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can drop in the rice cooker. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might just be your suspect, Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Glep, I gave out 71 blankets, but there's supposed to be 72. I'm not accusing you, I'm just asking if you know where the last blanket is. I'm gonna try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow, so uh, could you just stay out of my way for a while? Relatable. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger. Just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we're hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. That is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share, if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy, sticky suspect. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, dog. Are rice cookers popular in America? Yes, and they should be. They're literally just so easy and obvious. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening orders. Oh, no, curse this tongue of mine. The evening hors d'oeuvres. Talk. You solved this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Wow, well, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. They're, like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? She's cute.
So now we're missing a gold ring and some Shelly rings. And we're right next to an empty room. Yeah, I would say that a rice cooker, a toaster, and an air fryer are like the three necessary kitchen miniature appliances. You know, like I would say those are basically always worth crockpot. Crockpot's very good too. What are you doing, my man? I heard some noises in the cabin next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. And I was like, okay. <laughs> that was freaky. And when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that cabin for me? I was just there, man. Also, I'm like a legendary warrior. I've killed billions of... Goombas. Oh wait, let me grab Pound. Hey, hey! How do you... How do you... Can we just make fun of all these anti-woke folks who get super angry there we because go. not all the female characters in video games are portrayed as bimbos? I mean, I, I do. I, I, I would say that a pretty significant amount of, uh, of, of, my, of my stream is dedicated to making fun of that very specific archetype. Fascism is all about being weird about women, man. But I know there's someone in there. Oh, I bet I know what I need to do. I have to hide with Vivian. Because then they'll be like, where'd he go? I'm tired of us accepting dudes who are attracted to bimbos. And you know what the crazy thing is? A lot of the guys who freak out about the women on... Th in the video games not being, like, hot or whatever, they, they would shame those same women in real life. Because in real life, any woman who looks like those little sex dolls they like in the video games would be, like, super dolled up, like, pretty vain, you know, like... They, they, there's a lot of shit, then they'd be like, oh, you're a slut or whatever. You couldn't handle a bimbo. You say you want bimbos, you couldn't handle one. They would milk your fucking cock dry, dude. They'd make your balls shrivel up into little raisins. You'd die. You couldn't handle that shit. Oh. That's a fucking dead toad. Well, that's kind of creepy. You can't be the one that stole the blanket, though. You're a ghost. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine! All I need is... Yeah! I'll kill you, dude. Oh, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. That sucks, dude. You kidding me? You've been trapped on the corporeal plane for God knows how long because you're worried someone will read your embarrassing diary mentions? God, I fucking hope you clear your browser history before you die or your incorporeal spirit will haunt this earth for the fear, like, until someone trashes the fucking... until someone repurposes your computer and, and, and cleans the... 
the hard drive or something so they couldn't see all the feet porn you were into. You know? All the toxic, boy love, pathetic, older man bottom smut. I can't leave this room. So can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't it you wasn't dare just read the my PDF diary. file chance Kendrick had different gangs and NBA players dance together on stage and the event was sponsored by Amazon. It was insane. I need to look into that when stream's done. God, Vivian is so fucking cute. He played not like us five times in a row. You know what I really respect? The impression that I'm getting from all of this is that this wasn't just like a professional, uh, like beef, like a, like a, you know, oh, haha, these two have beef or whatever. And Kendrick just like actually fucking despises Drake with every fiber of his being. And I really respect that, you know, like that, that's like, I love that honest to God hater energy. Did you find the blanket? What a ghost! Yeah. And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. I get that, Dana. It seems like it's a lot of stuff. No? I mean, it kind of looked like it, I guess. A ragged diary. I will not read it because I honor my commitments, even with ghosts. What's the content of it? I'm not reading it. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. I would like to see what's written in it. Just read it, it's funny. No! I'm honoring my commitment, you honorless cur. If you hate Drake, you're Kendrick. If you hate Imagine Dragons, you're a millennial. If you hate both Drake and Dragons, you're a D&D player. I love being a music hyper normie, dude. I'm not even a music normie. I'm like a music fucking shut-in, you know? Everyone talks about hating Imagine Dragons, and I'm in my head thinking like, yeah, I think radioactive sounds nice. I like how it, there's a deep bass, and then the clap noise, and the boom boom, you know? Ah oh, man, time- yum! Time for my 57th listening to Enemy, the- the theme song to Arcane, you know? It's like, I don't care. What- what Kid A t what does that refer to, Thana? Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? Kid A by Radiohead? I don't even know what that is. How do I have an opinion on it? This is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Wait, the blanket was literally on the bed. That was the puzzle? That was the that was the blanket. It was literally right there. Bro review did in a fugue state. Yeah, I guess it just didn't leave that much of an impression on me. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. So he, like, insta-kills you, gotcha. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. 
you can literally sing the lyrics of any Imagine Dragons song to the music of any other song. It's so generic. That's what all music sounds like to me. I'm really sorry. Catch me singing Blackbird to the to the instrumentals of Yellow Submarine. It's all the same. <laughs> Fare thee well. Did he mean free bird chat kill me? No, blackbird fly. Isn't that... Isn't that the Beatles? Blackbird fly into the night. Da, 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 da. Or am I thinking of a different one? Uh, something painted black? No, that's not the Beatles. Uh, da, da, the line of cars and they're all painted black. No colors anymore. I wanted to turn black. I see I people turn their heads. The Metroid Primes, but I would love to see you play MP4. Beyond, even though the trailer was kind of eh, except for the last dust. Quickly turn away. Dun, 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 dun. Not a ding dong maniac just happens every day. Dun, 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 dun. I look inside myself and see my heart is black. Da, 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 da. That's Pearl Jam. Is that Pearl Jam? Yeah, I want to play um, Metroid Prime 4 on stream, probably. Stones? Pearl Stones. Gotcha. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever so. That's all there is to it. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's still two things we're trying to solve here. The pearl earrings, or the shell earrings and the gold ring. There's a ghost next door? You're just trying to get my goat now, aren't you? You big liar. There's no such thing as ghosts, right? Right? Come on, tell me I'm right. Come on, please. All right, man. I like singing the Painted Black song. I think it's fun to sing. Even though I only know those, like, 20 seconds of it. I'm glad you aren't a music snob. We all know you'd be insufferable if you were. Yeah, no. pe people get mad at fucking music slobs, but they need to be thankful to non-music slobs, is what I'm saying. I'm the, m I'm the most sufferable on music because I have, like, no opinions. I'm not a fashion snob either, dude. A snob isn't just somebody with opinions on a subject. A snob is somebody who has elitist opinions on a subject. Wow. <laughs> it helped me find my gold ring. Oh, thanks ever so. You don't 100% be a Radiohead stan? Isn't Radiohead the song, um... You know what to say, hey, you know what I said. You know what I dream, sleeping in my bed. You hold all the keys. Not that one, that's not Radiohead. What is that, Audio Slave? The Rolling Stones? Is that the Rolling Stones? No, bro? Well then just tell me what it is. Radiohead is Creep? What is Creep? Nirvana? That's not Nirvana. It's the Beatles? What are you guys on about? Hold on. Uh, Revelations. That's Audio Slave? Is there- is there any... relationship... between Audio Slave... and, uh... The other band that you talked about? None at all? And Radiohead? Radiohead songs. Creep? What is Creep? I I've never heard this before in my life. What 
I don't know. Kind of sounds like Imagine Dragons. Because Retro Studios is both responsible for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Metroid Prime 4. Does that mean we might get Metroid Prime 8? I mean, didn't we in, in the Smash Bros? Wasn't that the big crossover? <laughs> Every Radiohead fan is going to kill you now? Okay, I'm sorry, I just don't recognize this song. Maybe. High and dry, Jigsaw falling into place, paranoid android, let down, no surprises, exit computer. Is there any relationship between this and the Deltarune soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kill myself. <laughs> I I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> Everyone says they support autism until they encounter it in the wild. Driving at night so mysterious, what with the lights and bugs and whatnot? So let's all hear it for the XS Express! Huzzah! Huzzah! I would never say I support your autism. Ah, gosh. Listen, Thana, I like Queens of the Stone Age. Do you like Queens of the Stone Age? I don't know if I can sing them, though. How do you sing Queens of the Stone Age? They got kind of like a warbly noise. What's the one song about fucking while you're on your period? Queens of the Stone Age Red Song. It's very red. Go with the flow. That's it. Everyone supports autism until it speaks. True! That's what I'm saying! Chills. She said, I'll throw myself away. Dun dun dun. They're just photos, after all. Da, 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 da. I can't make you hang around. Da, 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 da. I can't wash you off my skin. Da, da. Outside the frame da, 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 is what we're leaving out. You won't remember anyway. Yeah, I remember that song. That's good. That's a good song. That's a music. Sing, live, and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. You like that? You'd like Nirvana? Okay, Thana, even I've heard some Nirvana songs, okay? I, I mean, I'm not that far gone. I think there was a Foo Fighters song in the Rock Band 2 soundtrack that I liked. Uh, was it Everlong? Is that it? It is. That is Foo Fighters. I remember. That song was a banger to play on the drums. I like that one. What's, uh, what's another good one? I like the Smashing Pumpkins song that was on in Rock Band 3 in the extras. Welcome to the dining car. You're just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shelter. Okay, so we're not... Okay, we need to, like, look around for that shit. Rapid Ash. Nice, Koopa te uh, Tessuto. I'm glad you're enjoying it. The unticked passenger was a ghost? My dear Luigi, you're delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? <laughs> uh... What I'm getting from this is that you like post-grunge. I like it when the voice of the singer is... has a lot of gain and, like, warble. And I like it when the bass and the drums go badoom. And I like it when it's got a heavy kick. And it's energetic. And it has to be crunchy. I want it to be crunchy. It has to be crunchy. Opinion on Americans who join the military? Special exemptions welcomed. I think it's fine. The The engine continues to move whether or not you're a part of it. I don't, I'm not out here being like, yeah, every veteran personally fucking 
murdered an Iraqi child or whatever the fuck. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, well, I say haunted by their past. You're going to be haunted by your future. <laughs> so there you go. You know, you're walking into the mouth of the beast rather than out of its uh, sphincter. Thank you for the very kind donation. I apologize for my flippant answer. Hope everyone going to Yonkers has fun and eats all of the cheese wheels. I hate you for making me care about some fashion now. I will <laughs> never forgive you. Yeah, sorry. That's how it is sometimes. Thank you, really. You know what I need to listen to one day? What about Nine Inch Nails? Don't they call it like industrial? If they, if they did the original soundtrack for Quake, that's probably pretty good, right? A ghost on the train? Well, does this ghost have a ticket? Because I certainly do. I bought one fair and square with my expense account. Hey, isn't this company funny? Hi, oh, Mr. Mario. How'd you do with the blanket? Evening just got here so sorry if already said. Do you like Rage Against the Machine? They do, in fact, go badung, and so on. I'm really sorry I don't like their sound, no. I know that, like, politics-wise it's good, but it's not a political judgment. It's just whether or not they got the right crunch, and I don't think their crunch is for me. Admittedly, I know, like, three songs of theirs, but, that, yeah, like, it's not, it's not my crunch, you know? Not, like, grungy enough, I don't know. System of a Down? I like System of a Down, yeah. In fact, that's one of the bands I know the most about. Which is to say, slightly more than nothing. When I briefly learned guitar, I practiced exclusively on System of a Down songs, back when I was like 15. Everyone likes System of a Down? No? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. <gasps> What, what, what fucking outdated meme format is this, Alec Gunther? Good lord. Trying to kill me here. Get late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should turn in for the night? You're in cabin five in case you forgot. I did not. I will not, Alec. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Do you like Soundgarden? What's, what's Soundgarden's most popular songs? Black Hole Sun? Oh, I know that song. Black Hole Sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Black Hole Sun, won't you come, won't you come? Stupid song. Black holes can't be suns. They're mutually exclusive celestial bodies. I, fuck, what voice do I have for her? I think we should get some rest. Excess Express Day 2. Yeah, but then it changes, Emma Gold, dude. What about a sun orbiting a black hole? Yeah, but those are two different things. It's just about the sound, Thana. I like Mastodon. Are Mastodon politically based? I don't really know. Okay. She's so fucking horny, dude. What about Rise Against? Uh, isn't Rise Against Corny? Isn't White? Isn't Rise Against White? What are their songs again? Very like sixteen-year-old just learned how to drive, like like white knuckling the the wheel as you drive down a mountain road, thinking about how Stacy fucking turned you down for prom. I don't I don't know. I I don't. It's just when I hear Rise Against, it makes me think. 
Halo 2 white video music? Yeah, I see it. YouTube video music. Yeah. Good morning to you, Serge. You sleep well? We'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Total chance I saw a fucking Kitchen Nightmares episode held in Yonkers the other day. And my friends were telling me, like, man, you gotta go there when you're in Yonkers. And I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Also, I gotta say, from this Kitchen Nightmares episode, I have not been given good reason to think positively of the service and quality of food here. <laughs> I found that if you're into Mastodon, it also requires being into Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber Toothed Tiger, and Tyrannosaurus. See, none of that tracks though, because Mastodon is one of the coolest words in existence, up there with Leviathan, you know? I love Green Day, especially their song, Sticking Out Your Guyate for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. They would. I just want to be your Sigma. -a. I like Green Day too. Okay, Green Day did give. Oh, sorry. R Rise Against did give it all. We give it all. Th that one. They did that one. Bosch is going to think that's a real song. I mean, I am pretty stupid, so. Yeah, that's true. Or orangutan Kiwi. Oh, no. I love Green Day. A Green Day is what I would consider, you know, uh, like good corny. Leviathan, which is Mastodon's most well-known album. Personal opinion, personal point of privilege, okay? Might be controversial. Mastodon's best album, Crack the Sky. Yeah, I said it. And, and, and Queen of the Stone Age best album? Uh, uh, A Vampire of Time and Memory. In my humble opinion, you know? I say do away with the, the classics, embrace the new, except now those albums are both like a decade and a half old, so it's not new anymore and I'm old. <laughs> Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the Did night. Did y'all see Gordon Ramsay's insane injury he got while cycling? I saw. Always wear your helmet, folks. Right after I gave chat the lecture about cycling being dangerous, too. I fucking told you. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Wasn't... My God is the sun. I love my God is the sun. Fair weather, friends. Now, oh, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, 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 here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Oh, now calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that it can even raise the dead? But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold... Well then, the results are explosive! <gasps> The resulting goo blast would immobilize everything here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen to the wrong hands, well then I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Paddington, you've done it again. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They've both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, that could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it's simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before the dastardly plan is put into effect. Okay. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. Okay. 
not worth telling the conductor about a potential bomb on the train, I guess. Good morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us hey, at our fellow 30-year-old here. I love the way you make witty observation humor like the black hole and sun comment. You are very clever. Don't say that to people. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, I like the way you use observational comedy, you know, based on the situation at hand. Very smart of you. Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Hello, Bosch. I am also 30. I noticed that you're being more relaxed and laissez-faire about bad stuff as it happens to you, probably because you've grown increasingly accustomed to this as you, you know, reconcile the misfortunes of life with your mortality and your desire to enjoy the time that you have left, even though now you're definitely no longer really a young adult. Uh, you are very clever. Thank you! Don't you start, Katoria. I should probably talk to the lady. Maybe she'll have new info. Good morning. Any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Okay. doing well on this chilly summer evening, and you too, Boosh. I am wondering if you will do another game stream before canvassing. I mean, tomorrow's the last day that I have to stream before I leave. My flight out is early in the morning, the day after tomorrow. Um, I, I might, we'll see, I might do another double stream tomorrow because I really have to build up on content. And after the canvassing shit, I'm only back at home for a week and then I have fucking anime expo. God damn it. I just want to work. I Like, genuinely, I just want to work, man. Um, or, you know, stare at my computer and think about, like, going on a grinder or whatever. I don't know. Um, it's crazy. Try my best out here. And get a job? Never. You'll never, you'll never get me. No, I didn't see that, Thana. If you're streaming tomorrow, why not play Elden Ring DLC? Because the Elden Ring DLC doesn't drop until late tomorrow night. Hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. Have you found my gold ring? Oh shit, it's out tomorrow. It's, it's out tomorrow midnight EST. Are there lesbians on Grinder or mostly guys? Trans lesbians. Attack on Titan's first themes writer also did the soundtrack to Bravely Default. Serpent Eating the Ground has the same musical progression as the OT's first theme. I didn't know that, but I'm not entirely sure how to parse that information, to be honest with you. That feels like it's a little bit out of my, um... You know, like my range of... my range of info because I have no idea what you're talking about it really isn't I mean AOT's theme sounded fucking baller oh yo P Ballstar thank you if for example the American military disappeared would it be reasonable to say that other countries would collapse in on us for the things we've done if that were the case, would the institution imply a defense of all of our friends and families? I... I think you're... In that case, Ooh. I will act as though this is your last one before heading on over to Yonkers. Just to cover my bases. You can never be too sure with these cases. Perhaps. I don't know how it involves your plans, but whatever you need to do, yeah, it might be. Um, thank you for the incredibly kind $50 donation. Uh, it, it's... It's not about, um... 
it's not about like if the military disappeared or whatever. It's just the military is an institutionally necessary organization no matter what. A nation state literally can't exist without a military. There's no example of a nation state existing with no military. There will always be a military for any nation state. Whether you think it's good or bad or whatever else, like that's just a fact of the matter, you know? Um, always. Costa Rica. Okay, a military or like um, defense assurances. Okay, d d the, you you need to secure the fucking uh, yeah. Costa Rica has us. Okay, like the U.S. military exists. Um, if if the U.S. military randomly did not exist, it would be very wacky. I don't really know what would happen following that. But it's not a matter of defense. You're not joining the military to protect your family or whatever the fuck. That's a stupid, like, dishonest excuse. You're joining the military because you want the college, like, money shit or whatever. Don't- you're- you're not doing it for some great heroic purpose. The U.S. military hasn't done anything even close to self-defense for nearly a century now. You got a vital paper. This looks like something very vital and complicated. Okay. Good morning to you, sir. Do you sleep well? We're making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it. Wait, I have a complicated paper. But you don't need to rationalize joining the military, you know? Like, if you want to join it for your own reasons, just, like, whatever. I guess we take this back to the, um... It always has, Bloom Hurts. I guess we take this back to the detective? Or the conductor? Somebody? We're running around, man. Do trains like this still exist? There are still luxury trains, but they're a lot less common these days. Sleeper trains? Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Ah! Huh. What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, that's, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I don't believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. Presumably, we gotta go into the, the storage. Gwendolyn, it's not about whether or not your job is okay. All jobs are in some form or another participant in a, like, larger harmful system. Like, not all jobs, but most of them, okay? You don't think of it that way, you know? You have your skill set, you have the jobs that you can join. Like, try not to join the fucking, like, military contractor Hitler kill children There's in Guatemala I Brigade. Say, but only so much time and money. I have taken some fashion advice to heart and bought some stiffer shirts with a summer style. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Tank top with a camp collar over. It's a classic. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping right. Wait, can I not go in there? Okay, I guess I can't go in there. Okay, we're looking for. Really busy. Hey, Bosch. Just wanted to say I was being entirely serious about my previous donation and think you are very funny. Keep up the humor. I know. I was. Smiley I, face. I was mostly bouncing. I was using a little bit of that situational comedy you were praising me for and using your uh, sincere donation to do a bit of uh, comedy bouncing off. Uh, really, thank you. I didn't mean to imply that I thought what you said was insincere. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I'll make food so delicious it'll make the day mad. Hoi, 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 hoi. It fucks your record up, Philomath 20. So yeah, Zipto came to last night's dinner. But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are? Oof. Hmm. 
Where the fuck is this guy? Where are you hiding, man? Whoa! I saw that. I'm very smart, and I saw that. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Hmm. I am glad to report that I have joined my local Democratic Club and am now on the Executive Committee, as well as the Central Committee for the Countywide Party. Nice! That's actually really awesome. Well done. We love our Democratic Party Central Committees. Hey! So, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna... Hit you in the ass. Youch! So this was our man all along, pretending to be zip-toed, I see. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Mm, yes, this was just as I deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril here tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off a of Riverside Station too. Yes, you've played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. The jig is up now, fiend, and the good people in this train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes from this improbably large brain. Eh, well, yes, in any case, at least return what you've stolen, fink. Eh. Briefcase? Gold ring. Shell earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Thank you, thank you. I think the stars are safe. Now I won't get the sack. Goat cheese, Stilton cheddar, or Parmesan. I'm really sorry. I'm a cheddar man. I think that a nice sharp cheddar is just incredibly versatile and very good. You know, I don't feel a need to innovate in this department. I feel like cheddar's the goat. Ah, oh, that sucks. Bluten hurts. It happens. It happens. A rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Really? I always wondered why it was kind of Western Tempest. That's interesting. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Finally, some combat. Give my voice a rest. How do you feel about Pepper Jack? Pepper Jack is goaded. It's a little greasy for my taste, though. Yay! Yay! We are holding our first fundraiser this Sunday, which is a wine tasting event in a home overlooking the local lake. Sad to say I will not join you folks in NY. Ooh, fundraising at a wine tasting event, you bougie fucks. What district are you in, hmm? Have a good time. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip it if I let that happen. Oh, fuck. What voice did we give this guy? What voice did we give this guy? This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Well, I was planning to go if I Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers. <laughs> Want to get outside for a second? The exit's in the first car. Why is he just freely sharing his name now? Oh, I think the name thing is kind of out of the bag. Maybe it's only an issue if he's... Uh... Taken someone else's form. But now that he can't do that anymore because his name is known... He's like... 
given up on it? I don't know. It was Chicano Arts that gave you the gifted sub, Kinoko Cat. It's so super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. I get it, kid. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into the station. They must have gone down into the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure the thing! Really? That'd be super! No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. Oh, thank you so much. Wow! This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here. Refuel? You're a train, man! Oh, thank you, people. Stop. Thank you. I've been subscribed as long as I've served. Luckily, I've been able to spend quality time with people from around the country, and hopefully what I've learned from you has helped my boys get on the right side of history. Aww. Well, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that I, I could impart upon you wisdom that you thought was worthy of that honor. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's very, it's very kind. I will do my best to join Progressive Victory and Phone Bank for good candidates. I am in a safe democratic district on the West Coast with decent congressmen. Nice! Well, still need fundraising, right? Don't want to get complacent. Thank you very, very much. I thought I could give them fucking gifts to the people out there. Here we are. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Yes, that's definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. I kind of hate her. I mean, she's like a super horny, milf, rich lady, right? Do you fuck her? It's a recurring joke in this game that every female character has the hots for Mario. And that's genuinely not a joke. Like, that actually is a recurring... Basically, every single female character has the hots for you. Including Vivian, yes. Welcome, welcome! Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Yay! Shout out to the puppy girl boys in chat. Remember to bark incessantly until you ruin several neighbors' sleep schedules. It's always funny. I do not co-sign this. I do not... I do not endorse this, uh, this behavior, okay? Just letting you know that it's not, uh, not defending it. Thank you, Azzy the Avaricious. I appreciate it. Yay! My goodness, you guys. Gifties because I was about to resign. Thank you. You've been very, very, very generous. Thank you very, very much. Oh, there they are! These are my earrings! Thank you so much! And hey, before I forget, take this as my thanks! She fucking blows you. That's a pretty, uh, broad... You're like the nicest, old, mustached, overall-wearing guy I've ever met. See? She's got the hots for us. Um, Freedom Inc. That's a pretty broad question, man. I have... I don't know what you mean. Any recommendations? I mean... Have you jerked it yet tonight? Because I was going to do that, like, after stream, so there's that. Isn't that a baby? No, she's just a toad! They're all small. What the fuck do you mean? She's working a job!
I think the women are just nice. No, they explicitly flirt with you. Freedom Inc., I think that one of the best things that you can do as an advocate or an activist or just a leftist broadly is don't think of life as what can I do to better the cause. Think of life as what can I do to better myself, my own life? What can I do to improve my standing and make myself a stronger, better, more complete person? And then when opportunities arrive to do the right thing, you can use your bettered self to do them. There are a bunch of people who try really hard to be helpful and then burn themselves out and they just kind of have like a, I don't know, meh life because they never think, they, they, they don't, they don't like, they don't prioritize, you know? Did you ever play Zelda Twilight Princess? And if so, did you like it? I am playing through the HD version on Wii U for the first time ever. I did like it, but I was also a kid when I played it. I haven't played it as an adult. It's possible that I would dislike it in retrospect. Apart from the whole Midna Gooning bullshit or whatever, like, I feel like the art style looks pretty awful when I look back on it. So that's not great. Hmm? Wait, wait. Why is it... Why is it not... Why is it not holding the... Hold, then rotate the stick. Don't fucking patronize me. I'm holding down the button. Are we bugging out? What's up? Controller issue? Yeah, I guess so. again? Okay. Good night, Kowalski. It was the game to furry, you're not gonna lie. What was it, having like a fat ass short stack actively flirting with Link while he was transformed into a giant wolf? That game was wild, man. You couldn't get away with that these days. These days, people would be like, hey, this is incredibly overtly sexual. <laughs> Couldn't get away with this now because of Woke. All right, Gumbella, it's time. I am proud that Mexico voted for full communism on the second. Many thanks to the working class that gave us the first female president of Mexico. She's a leftist. Yeah, people were really weird about that one. That was, like, really strange to me. I thought I was just going to cover some good news. Then I spent an hour with people ineptly trying to explain to me how she's not... Like, she's actually secretly bad because of some other thing. I, I, I don't know. It's nowhere near as sexual as Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, but Hi-Fi Rush isn't, like, a mainline Nintendo game. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although, I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way, so don't do that. Dun, 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 dun.
Nice. Hi-Fi Rush's French dub is tragically sexless. For the French? That's a shame. Dun, 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 dun. Damn, these guys dropping experience like crazy. Fucking yum, yum, yum. Yeah, Big Z, I hope something really comes of it. Like, I don't know, executions. <laughs> Do we really need more FP? I don't know if we do right now. BP or you're a coward. We literally don't have anything else that we want to add. But you're right. We'd be a coward not to. We don't want to be a little bitch-ass baby boy pussy. We don't want to be a little pussy piss baby pussy shit baby piss and shit pussy pussy. None of that shit, okay? Oh no, I got over eager. Nice. Do you like how China publicly humiliates billionaires and oligarchs in the media, having them apologize or even executing them in some cases, or is it just a five minutes hate thing? No, I unironically think that that is cool in concept, but the problem is, is that for the Chinese Communist Party, it's not about defending the proletariat, it's about defending the interests of the Chinese Communist Party. Like, they do it because it was an act of betrayal against them and their interests, not because it's like an expression of a proletarian society's uh, you know, the, the opposition to corporate greed. So that's my issue with it, really. Like, <laughs> excuse me, in principle, though, I mean... Took the long way around. Oh. da 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 in principle, there shouldn't be any billionaires to shame. Yes, uh, yet yeah, no, co no, completely agreed. Yeah, what, excellent point, you know? If China was really committed to their, like, proletarian policies, there should not be billionaires to humiliate. Or in any form, like, they just shouldn't exist as a class. As opposed to this current mantra of, like, make sure you stay in line and your existence is permissible. Exactly, Biggs. I think- I- I agree with Disco Elysium. I think that they should literally impale anyone with over 25 real in their pocket. I mean, in fairness, the mystery train bit is pretty unique, Tempest. Why wasn't there a stream notification? Because I hate you, personally. Poison Pokey. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous Pokey. 
Max HP is 8, attack is 4, defense is 0. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Wow. God, having a bunch of guard ups is so insanely overpowered. I'm afraid I'm not Biggs 31. Though I appreciate the offer. What's down here? I'm smart. Hmm. Alright, alright. Uh, kind of wishing that I had the spike... The thing that lets me jump on spikes without issue. I did it. I finished with chapter six and caught up with the troubled requests with best gal Vivian. Nice, hell yeah. You missed a badge? We'll go back for it, don't worry. Can't use Thunder Wave. Let's use uh, Earth Tremor. Art Attack? How much damage can you even do with Art Attack? Isn't Earth Tremor always better than Art Attack? Like, up to 12? No way we get that much. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I haven't done this yet. God damn. I got, I got you. I didn't realize that was that much. I wanted to vote in the election, but I could not get my dual citizenship in time. At least the municipality my family lives in voted Morena P.T. Verde. Viva Mexico. Yeah, I'm, um... It's, uh, it's, it's not easy managing the citizenship stuff. At least your sentiment was in the right place, right? All right, Vivian, time to help. I need to visit Mexico City one day, man. I need to go gringo it up, you know? I need a gringo pill. Gringo to the polls. Don't you have to be a born citizen to vote? No? But they were talking about Mexico. Oh, wait. I don't know about the rules in Mexico, only in America. Bad about this. Oh, you can't punch because of the spikes. No. Vivian, I'm sorry. And now I'm poisoned. It's over. It's over. Well, you can punch the cloud. Yay! Don't you mean Pokemon go to the polls? How do you do, fellow kids? Hillary Clinton endorsed the opposition, okay? We know what we have to do. Mario's dying. Quack. He still takes damage even once he's out of combat, right? Cures poison, other ailments. How convenient. Yes? Dun, 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 dun. Poison is only in combat. Oh, it doesn't continue once you're walking around. It's not like Pokemon? Okay. Vivian, you can't do shit unless you fucking fiery jinx. Lamo. Oh, right.
Don't you, Spike Shield? I unequipped it. Spike Shield is super useful. It's definitely one of the better badges. Then re-equip it. Yeah, I did! What do you want? Got it. Got thy ass. Yeah, if we multi-bounce... Plus... Power Shell. Yeah. Yeah, wait, I want to test something while I'm still feeling schmaltzy about it. Hey, my darling partner, text me if you're still awake or if you've fallen asleep yet. See, now I'll find the answer out soon. Don't fuck the cactus. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it is. Fuck you. Oh, cool. I'm smart. Yippee! Okay, we have scanned those guys before. Hmm. I got a text. Go to sleep. Dumbass. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, we jump. Oh, never mind. I haven't gotten the spike, the the spiked jump ones. Dude, what is their armor that they did no damage? What the fuck? I sh in all caps, I shouldn't have fallen for that. That was cruel. Go to sleep. Stop using fucking neurons on texting me. Also, I love you. I did nothing. I think that's the first time I've gotten the defense proc from this. Have you tattled them? No, I'll do it with the next group of enemies. Hello, Exalted Abyss. The combat system in this game is so satisfying for how simple it is. Okay. That's a spiky parabuzzy. It's a buzzy with spikes and wings. Max SP is 5, attack is 3, defense is 4. Hey, the same stats as a normal buzzy. Fire and explosions don't work on buzzies, in case you've forgotten. Ugh, worse yet, this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain. You'd be better off using an item or a special move to take him out. That's crazy. Nodding Donkey, that's a complicated question. There's lots of stuff that Trump could potentially do that would be very bad. And there's, you know, lots of stuff that he could fumble on. 
Look up Project 2025 as a good example of what he's kind of gunning for, you know? I thought you loved me. Baby, go to sleep. You're making me be mushy in front of chat. You know they can sniff weakness. Chicano Watts, I have no idea what that limitation is. Genuinely no clue. But you've already been very generous. I think you'll be okay. Ooh, oh. Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay. That's true, Thane. I probably should talk about it more. Have we ever seen your partner on stream? No, and if fucking God smiles upon me, you never will. Um, John Oliver's latest episode of Last Week Tonight went over Project 2025. Gotcha. P up, D down. <laughs> my P is always up. And my D <laughs> is also always up. Oh, hello. Missed coins. Shut the fuck up! Oh. Alright. Oh. Kinda awkward. Let's get rid of this guy first. Man, it genuinely is crazy how much better Yoshi is than everyone else in fighting. It's actually fucked up. Like, no one else can do anything about the flying parabuzzy. Not really. He's also literally the only guy, too. No, Koops is a guy. It's not a diaper, it's pants. Oh, the resident fucking Yoshi defender in chat. Wow. Wow. It genuinely is crazy, though. Five damage to two targets that ignores defense. BIGZ31, I have parents born in Mexico and can gain dual citizenship through them for full rights and responsibilities. I wanted to do that before February, but alas. I get that. I get that. That's pretty poggers. I'm pogging out right now. Did I just use Art Attack? I feel like I should. In fact, I feel like I'm going to. I'm definitely going to. It's happening right now. Live. Mm, look at my controller circle skills. That yeah, was pretty okay. It, it tempest. It does look like a diaper. Come on, let's be real here. Just because they asked. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. We love the camaraderie shown in chat. My partner stopped responding to me. I think they dumped me. Are you capturing this footage, OBS? Oh, it's uh, a switch. There's a switch remaster. Oh, we can't ground pound, that's right. Tempest, are you saying that your position that it's not diapers is purely a vibes-based one? 
Like, oh, it couldn't be diapers. That would be too audacious. He's literally a baby. He was born in front of us. This way? No, not this way. Yay! Bowman is on Colbert tonight. Make to watch y'all. Wait, really? I didn't even know. I'm not following like the fucking media side of things like that. I have a good night, Chloe. We've all had those nights. I get that. I need to go to the left there. Man, I really hope Jamal Bowman wins. We're really in on this, you know? Obviously, part of, like, getting involved in politics is understanding that things don't always work out your way. And I don't necessarily think we're going to lose. I have no idea how it's going to go. It's just there's a lot invested and there's so much uncertainty. It's rather anxiety-inducing. All right, Tempest. Whatever. Sounds like he's in a really hard district. Well, his opposition is being endorsed by a bunch of uh, establishment Dems, like Hillary Clinton. And uh, in addition to that fact, which is bad enough on its own, APAC is giving his opposition a million, trillion, bajillion, quadrillion, squintillion dollars. So. What fit would Yoshi wear? A diaper. Oh, I didn't have my hand in control. I'm still not enough to kill. Tempest, the the fucking chat is against you on this one. Infinite Vosh Moneybug remains. Order restored. To ruin the mood, one of my grandparents died back in March, and I was unable to go to the funeral with my family. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, hopefully you're. Uh, hopefully you're doing better now, in, in spite of that. You know, I, 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 I'm sure no one faults you for that fact. I mean, there's no need to ruin the mood. Though you've been generous enough to warrant it, perhaps. These uh, spiky parabuzzies really are a pain in the ass to deal with. Hello, Vosh. Long time of viewer. Been following you since before Trump. Finally made an account. I owe you this one from five years ago. Holy shit, thank you. I really appreciate that. Nothing makes me happier than uh, reflecting on the longevity of this community. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I, I said that twice, but you know. I mean, I wasn't streaming before 2016, but I, I, I think I know what you mean. You I am going to have to cut soon. I am streaming tomorrow and have a bunch of other stuff. Guess what's tomorrow, guys? At long last, Ruben's deballification appointment. I know, I know. Legendary timing, I know. Wait, how do I do this? We'll come back to it.
regular ass Goombas. Yeah, Hunger Master, it's uh, a pretty glaring inconsistency. I am doing fine, all things considered. Funnily enough, I had let my passport expire back in October thinking I was going to be able to change my name this year. You should definitely never let your passport expire. Ah, well. Okay, that's an odd little... I gotta renew my passport soon. It's not due to expire crazy soon or anything, it's just good to always have it renewed for reasons that I've outlined in my streams before. I'm happy to hear you're doing well enough. I can solve this puzzle. Yahoo! I'm smart. Yay! Super Boots! Ultra Boots! Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump attack power will go way, way up. And you can use a new jump technique, too. Let's practice it right now. Just hold down A and rotate L to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a big spring jump. Remember, though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? Spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move L left or right, move along a pipe, and press B to let go of a pipe. That's alright, Big Z. Wow! Way to go, Mario! You're so handsome! Sorry if you've already talked about this, but did you see the final reveal on Nintendo Direct today? That's a nice name, Hatchet Down 88. Were you born in 1988, perchance? No. No, I haven't. I don't like w watching game trailers or reveals. I like to be. Vosh, you are the no goat. Spoilers. Therefore, be careful of chupacabras. They be sucking and they're coming strong. I could easily fuck a chupacabra. Wait, are chupacabras hot? Like, are they like a werewolf? No, Lamal? No? They're vampire coyotes? So they're like little dog things? Folks, this is your reminder to renew your passport and never allow it to expire. You may face a sudden family emergency, or if things go bad in November. It is a good advice, you know? Just wrap it up from the jump, no need to do this, bro. <laughs> I'm smart. Oh, interesting, the Radical Dino. I didn't know that. I guess I just kind of imagined that it was like a... werewolf. Thing. Well, you can draw anything like anything, sure, but if it's just like a rabid dog animal thing, then probably not, right? 
Where, like the thi like werewolves are hot, but werewolves are like transformed humans, and they're not just animalistic and in intelligence. Werewolves are like uh, you know shape shifting predators. Wait, where am I going again? Was it up here that I needed to bring the thing? Wrong way. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. I've got an early wake up tomorrow as well. Like, I have an appointment. I think the thing with the balls is at like fucking 7 a.m. or something. I'm just gonna save and then skedaddle. It's been a pretty active day and I might have a lot of stream streaming to do tomorrow as well, and then the thingy, and then another thingy, and oh, the thingies. There it is. This is what I gotta do, but first I wanna save. And we're going to pick this back up next chance we get. Hold on. Some interesting things going on in Japanese politics, not so far. I am going to close up shop for tonight. I have dropped $160 on this Rizless hipster. I mean, our problematic fave. <laughs> we love Vosh. Don't yeah. we, folks? Yeah, 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 you traitor. All right. Thank you for the kind. Goat pupils are freaky. They're horizontal rectangles. Goat pupils on humans are unironically incredibly fucking hot. You're drawing like some freaky ass demon chick with hooves. And she's got goat pupils? Fuck yeah, dude. Sign me up and my dick, because my dick is way up there. The Tokyo governor race is off to a crazy start. Sakurai Mew, who calls herself the world's most adventurous Gyaru, will be on risque campaign posters promoting Joker candidate Kawaii Yusuke. This poster calls for an end to laws that censor nudity. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Whatever. What does Gyaru mean? It's a fashion and aesthetic subculture in Japan. Uh, it's basically like tanned beach blonde bimbos, but Japanese. Like, let's look like an American West Coast starlet, but it's not quite American. It's like inspired by that, but it's not quite like that. It's, it's a whole thing. Tans, blonde hair, overdone makeup, 